Welcome to the Call Like I Don't See It podcast, where we talk about movies, comics, games, sports, uh, and uh, Zamunda. Uh, I am GP. Uh, what's going on, y'all? King has returned. This is AD. I'm not the king. I'm just talking about what we're about to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? What's up, peoples? Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So it's been uh, a minute. Yeah, it's been. Yeah, we took a yeah. little bit of time there to uh, uh-huh. little. T- gap that we weren't expecting but you know that's what happens you know that's what happens when you have personal lives you know we gotta tend to that too yeah personal man that weekend was super busy man like from, yeah, it was. Yeah, from it that was. thursday yeah. from that thursday to sunday i was like locked booked everything i couldn't yeah. do anything yeah. <laughs> so. and I, I was in the middle of the week of pure anniversary bliss oh yes look hop it up on that happy yeah, anniversary yeah. Hey, 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 hey. 11 years hey, 11 man. years yeah, some people don't even make it to four, unfortunately, yeah, and you make it to four weeks, <laughs> and your high school sweetheart. Oh, yeah. oh, that made me cry. Eleven. How does that feel? Let's get let's get let's get a little marital advice to start uh, the podcast this episode. How you get to eleven years, G? Um, you just you just um, both parties have to be willing to move forward in a progressive way. You giving positive chakra early disorder. This I'm is sorry. this ma- I, marital, <laughs> marital chakra. This is what it is. <laughs> well, you asked. <laughs> marital chakra. Marital we got chakra. New, we got a new segment. We got a new segment. So, so <laughs> yeah, we just gonna throw this one in here. So, so eleven years of the game. You said that both sides just have to be yeah. focused on moving forward with 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 each other. Moving forward. Oh, ah, yeah. mm-hmm. okay. Through the good and the bad. Through the good and the bad. Uh, all right, man. Well, congrats. What you guys do for your eleventh? Uh, we did a staycation. We didn't. We didn't. Um, you know, travel because of COVID. So of course. Of course. Yeah, we just stayed in and uh, did a good staycation and, and relaxed and chilled and laughed and had a good time. Sweet. Yeah. Were you at home or you did? Because I thought, did you guys go like at a hotel or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to say which hotel it is because I was going to leave there for, um, put your face in this, but. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, sweet. You'll save it. <laughs> save yeah. it. Oh, man, we bringing that back in this episode, huh? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, we are. Okay, oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, Put your yeah. faith coming on back. All right, well, sweet. Yeah, I mean, my weekend, my week was pretty booked last week. We um, celebrated uh, my sister-in-law's birthday. So uh, maybe I should have saved that for a yell out, but I'll do it right now. Yeah. <laughs> so happy birthday. Happy to birthday. Her. Hey. The big 3-0. Um, so that was a major one. Uh, yeah. I will also probably save another thing later for a friend of podcast shouting out a certain restaurant because okay. it was boss. All right. Um, and then, of course, we went out with my uh, son and nephew and had a blast doing that. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, that kind of wrapped up all the weekend time. To, and, of course, by the time the wife and yeah things like that. So, mm-hmm. you know. So good. Now we're back. Yeah. We're good we, to go. We, so we, while we were away, <laughs> some things happened. Yeah. Stuff okay? happened. Well, we, well, we were away from the podcast world. Things happen, and it's like, what the hell? We why come did, back. We move, we, seem, we miss a week. Why does it seem like stuff don't happen when we are just here? But <laughs> stuff, a lot of stuff. So as soon as we step away, right? Right. When we took that little break in between seasons, a lot of things was popping off. Uh, we come back after a week, and uh, it's apparently Governor Ab- Abbott, Abbott <laughs> decides to, um, you know, open things back up at 100%. Right, like who, who, who WTF? Told, who told him that was a good idea? I don't know. Money and and power make yeah. people stupid. Yeah, that's I think apparently because apparently COVID's over, right? COVID's over. We're free. We're to, out. To him, we're done. No, because you were on a staycation. Could you have gone anywhere, G? Um, I, I just I could have possibly, but I was. I don't. Could you go afraid. anywhere without your mask, G? Oh, you, you got you need a mask. So, so COVID's still going on. Still, COVID's still going on. So maybe, maybe we should make you Governor G. Governor G, right here. Jo- Governor G. Uh, right. Would you open up <laughs> Texas at a hundred percent? No, I would not. Why not, Governor G? Because it's still COVID. You got multiple variants of of, of a mutated uh, disease that is still affecting the uh, the world. How many of those? Things have uh, mutated and it's actually currently here in the state of we Texas. We have G. currently three, if I'm not three mistaken. different variants. Three. Oh my goodness. Yes. So and it's, 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 it's seems not like... a mutant gene where you can get powers from. It's, oh no, it's, it's, because it's if a, that was the it's case, it's a serious then, yes, disease where you cannot breathe and 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 you have 
especially if you have pre-existing conditions. So conditions, right? You, yeah, this is not nothing to be mess with or play. So you so. seem to be a very brilliant and smart-minded individual. Well, thank you, sir. So I, I, based on those, based on those facts and that data, you should you should probably not open everything back up, right? That's is the facts and data is all there. You, you, you I don't. All I can think of is he seeing green, and he don't want to, you know. You, you don't want seeing green. You don't want to. He don't want to um, let go of the paper. He don't want to spend all the paper. That's what. All right. Yeah. You can, because because we we didn't seem to have learned our lesson about people putting money first before uh, you know people's health. When we just got hit with that storm a couple weeks ago. Right. 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 And that's when another thing. That's another their, thing that their, happened. He like exactly. Oh. He like oh that just hit me oh my pockets oh so you know. Right, right. More about money than people's lives than people's lives at this point. Yeah, ridiculous, mm-hmm. ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, once, I'm sorry that, that kind of we kind of played that. Like, ah. But it's it's so it's so stupid though. It's like, why do you think the low numbers are there in the first place, blah? Right. Because it's we, because we were doing the freaking social distancing exactly. and staying inside exactly. and putting masks on our face. Exactly. I can't believe when I read this article, bro, like he said, the numbers are just been low. And I feel it's the best time now <laughs> to just say, you know what, go back to your lives. <laughs> it's like, no, 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 governor, governor, no, you're not listening. The numbers are low in the first place, bro, because we've been practicing what was supposed to be done, you know? <laughs> In order to in order to get us to this point, you know, I don't know where he's all about. Man, go live the life that you deserve. <laughs> it's no time you to s- be free, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we're going streaking. We're, we're going. We're going streaking. No, we're oh, not. Man. Put your clothes back on and your max, folks, and go back inside. This thing ain't done. Like the last, th- does he not remember what was this? Currently, back in maybe June, July of last year, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. When they they tested pushing things back to fifty percent opening, right? Fifty percent right. capacity. Yeah. They said, "Oh snap, maybe we could do this." And then immediately, bam! Two Ugh. weeks later, <laughs> skyrocketing number. Man, Dave, put your mask on. <laughs> put your mask back on. <laughs> we messed up. We fucked up. We gotta go back to what we were doing. The numbers are increasing. Well, duh. What, <laughs> what do you think? You just open it up, make a huge decision like that. Just because you think it's it's uh, best for he's trying the whole, to boost the whole millions and millions of people. In the no, state. he's just more thinking about his economy situation. You know, right. this whole "don't mess with Texas" attitude. I don't know, like it just sometimes just blocks, like you know, smart <laughs> being yeah. a smart individual or common sense. Yeah, you know, and <laughs> I cannot believe that, bro. Yeah. Like he basically I, told I, everyone to uh, everyone gather up in the city and just hug each other. That's what he basically. He pretty much. He, it's, it's, it's either that or everyone fend for yourselves. Like yeah. it's either you do that yeah. or just fend for yourself. Right. You're on your own. Your life is in your hands now. I'm tired of being a governor. You can yeah. just say that. You can just say that. Yeah. I am tired of being a governor. You guys be your own governor. Make your own decisions on what you want to do. Screw you know. Sc- screw whatever else the, the whole United States is doing. We're gonna right. do our own thing. Don't right. mess with Texas. <laughs> don't mess with us. No, don't. No, really, folks. Don't mess with Texas because we probably contagious now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two, three yeah. weeks. We probably uh-huh. gonna be the most contagious state. Anybody from Texas, Look. if you traveling out, automatic quarantine. Don't even accept them. Where you coming from? Oh, uh, I, I just came. Me, and my family just came on vacation from Texas. Well, get your ass back over there. I this was, is uh, I this is. Say, ourselves don't want to mess with ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. It's. I'm so pissed because spring break is coming up, dude. Yeah. And. We were just, you know, we just, we're comfortable going out now before because, you know, there was limited people in the restaurants and places. So you kind of didn't feel like threatened or life threatened, you know? Right. Or like, oh man, right. I'm going to catch something. Now, spring break is popping off. Yep. People are going to be all, you know, we're free. <laughs> I'm like, yep. I can't go anywhere. Exactly. Yeah. He just locked us down in a twisted way. He just locked us right back down right. In, in like a, a twisted version of this situation. Yeah. Basically, so yeah, I I'm still gonna be masked up. I think I, mean, every, that's I think, every, I think nobody is listening to what he's saying. <laughs> I don't think nobody <laughs> listening to what he's saying. <laughs> the the immediate response on social network out here for for the, those who don't know we're out here based in Houston. If you haven't listened to any part of our podcast by yeah. now, but the uh, the overall consensus of Houston and Texas was like, hey man, we don't follow stupid. Yeah, we, yeah, we ain't follow <laughs> we, that, man. We we don't follow stupid. But then that's just some of us, right? Because even 
though things were in lockdown mode, uh, do you remember a couple of those times we had these little outbreaks of people throwing like hundreds of people in a party situation? Yeah. Right? And that was when we were trying to follow protocol. Right. So imagine so, that. So, the, so those type of people that, that, that never did want to put on a mask is like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. It's time. I'm calling it, I'm calling it the, uh, it's, you're going to notice it's going to be a domino effect, right? Not yeah. domino effect, but domino, domino effect. A domino. Where everybody's just going to be doing stupid shit just not <laughs> around the clock. Just, what are you doing, bro? We still in quarantine. Well, the Texas governor's here. I don't have to put on a mask. I'm getting my kegger and I'm going to get me about 200 people. We're going to have ourselves a time. It'd be like, <laughs> bro, you doing something stupid. And then for no reason at all, a new fourth variant is going to mutate itself amongst right. us. Yeah. It's, yeah they, and they, we should just call, call it the Texas gene. The Texas gene. I was going to call it the hillbilly, but... The hillbilly gene. I don't want to catch that shit at all. Leave me alone. Don't touch me with that. The you Texas gonna, gene. You're going to automatically grow overalls. <laughs> 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 You can have a couple of uh, uh, chaps on too. <laughs> automatic, automatic chaps and overalls on when you catch this gene. And for some reason, your legs buckle. <laughs> your legs kind of like buckle to the side when you're walking. Oh my god! Sound like a character straight from Red Dead it's, Redemption. It's, it's, yup, straight up. It's gonna be the. It's gonna, for the TX, what is it? TX three one one for the yeah. for the case of it, it's being open back uh, three eleven, right? right? Mm-hmm. So TX three one one variant. That's what it's gonna be. Yep. There you go. If you catch that, good luck. I don't know what else to tell you. Don't that's come a- to me. Oh, I caught COVID. <laughs> Great. Don't come to me. Tell me you got caught COVID. I'm not, I don't want to hear you mess up. <laughs> and, and I expect the same way to be treated. I right, come to you, Gil. Uh, Greg, I caught it. Well, who the hell told you to go outside in the first place without your mask on? You could, you could tell it if I had it. I'd be saying, now why are you trying to be a city slicker? Huh? <laughs> come like, on, guy. Your, what the hell's wrong with your voice? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you you caught the variant? <laughs> you caught that TX three eleven? I don't know. I, I have the slightest idea of what you're talking about, mister. Ah, uh, nah, dang it. it. It's gone. He's gone now. <laughs> and that's how we know. But Greg, what you wearing right now? Well, I bought me a couple of tramps. <laughs> Ain't they cool? Check. Look at them. They caught them. <laughs> they got my boy. They got them. They got them, mama. <laughs> they got them. <laughs> so, yes, uh, overall consensus, folks. Please just, God, I don't even yeah. know. I can't believe why you have to keep saying this. Just wear your masks. Wear your mask, man. Until we man. eradicate this whole disease man just just completely man. eradicate perfect word there until it's a completely eradicated just just stay put yeah man i feel like we're so close but as humans as a species we're following the new dodo effect like i think the new age dodos are americans just like we just keep doing stupid stuff yeah. <laughs> and this is just prime example of dodoism like yeah. here we go we're gonna go hey, everybody doing it we're gonna be stupid together <laughs> uh, hey Stupid or not trying? Yeah. <laughs> we'll get, get, get stupid or not trying? <laughs> get stupid or not trying? Come on. And then 50, 50 Cent coming out with a new movie, man. <laughs> <laughs> 50 I'm Cent trying to coming. be a heel, Billy. That's all that matters. You can find me in the club without my mask on. <laughs> <laughs> Bottle full of bub. Yeah. Sound like a text. It's a special, baby. Yeah. Uh, don't keep keep that Texas tea away from us, please. Yeah. Don't sip it. Yeah, don't sip don't it. Don't sip don't it. Sip. I, well, I, I, we do apologize for uh, starting the podcast here, ranting yeah. on the governor's decision. Yeah, but hey, hey. But hey. it needed to be done. Hey, it's his fault. It needed to be done. He's he's, he's lucky we ain't roast him. I was about to go oh, seven minutes oh, on the roast here oh, for this. Could have. You lucky this is gonna be a big episode. Texas hey. roast. I don't, <laughs> pull out my Brandon stick. I'm gonna brand the governor right quick. Here we go. <laughs> There you go. Nice, big old stupid. <laughs> All righty. Right. Anything else you wanted to add on that? We can move on. We can move on. Call it right Turn then. Turn things on to the light then. Right. Call it. Call, call it, it, Texas. Call it. Call it. Call it. Call it. Well, call it then. All right. What are we going into now, G? Uh, right now, we about to go into, well, not just GP's comments corner, but GP Woo! and AD's comments corner. Because we I'm about back in to. It. Yeah. We about to review. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 well the last Ronin <laughs> issue 2 I'm like I say the whole thing like why, why don't you just say TMNT <laughs> you know what Teenage I'm Mutant thinking Ninja about Turtles, take a breath <laughs> take a breath <laughs> I don't think about I was about to say um, 
Teenage Ninja, Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze. <laughs> I know, that's where you go with it. I'm like, no, bro, no, no, scale it back. Just say TMNT, Last Ronin, number right. two. TMN- TMNT, The Last Ronin, <laughs> issue two. Yes, now, it's been sir. a while since the, well, this issue has been supposed to come out, but they yeah, uh, man. pushed it back for, I don't know what reasons, but... Like two times it got pushed back. Yeah, like two months. Yeah, and yep. um, in this issue here, uh, we get spoiler alert. Spoiler. Oh, spoiler there we go. Alert throughout this whole I episode. <laughs> I did it early. There we go. Spoiler alert. Early. Spoiler alert. This issue was about um, what happened in the past of the the minds of the turtles and some new info into what the last Ronin, aka Michelangelo, has been up to. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we start off the story with April O'Neil waking up from a nightmare, right? She's thinking about the past of when the her, turtles were alive. <laughs> yeah, when the turtles was alive. And, and she uh, had all her limbs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she yeah, she got she don't have a leg. She's missing one leg and one arm. She's missing she got, a leg and part of her arm. And she, I'm like, she basically damn, they did uh, that to April like that? Yeah, she basically cyborging it. So uh um, Yeah, it's pretty cool. April yeah. Cyborg. I yeah. can see it working. Yeah. <laughs> so um this was this had to be like at least about twenty something years ago, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the last days of the turtles, which yeah. is still a very sad, grim story to begin with. Yeah. Um, but they do dive in showing you like the I mean, the scene where the scene that caught my attention in the beginning was where um you see splinters like all cut up and bleeding, right? Yeah, they bring and, in, they bring in um they 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 actually had a well Casey and April was was doing the engagement party night. She they was gonna tell the turtles that they're getting married. Right. And they had and a, a dinner set up full of food on the table and they were just waiting on the turtles to come. Abruptly re interrupted the celebration. Right. Splinter's going down, we need a yeah. medic. <laughs> yeah, Splinter's all bleeding up, they coming in all bloodied up. Oh God my! Damn. It was so heartbreaking to see them cut up. Like I've never seen the turtles that bloody before. Right. But it was actually like if they do take, and I hope they decide one day to turn this into a live action movie because to see the turtles bloodied up, it's just like damn, bro. What's y'all? Y'all normally happy in the shows. What's right. going on here? Yeah. Supposedly was it was a up. it was a truce, and the truce ended between them and the Foot Clan. Uh huh. And uh, Spencer's daughter Karai is uh is the leader. Is a biatch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A biatch. yeah. So, and, and then what did you think about Raphael? Classic Raphael style. Gra- classic Running Raphael. Off. Classic Ran Raphael. Off. Yeah. Once Ran off, out. got pissed at the situation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he going head on rage mode alone. <laughs> you, saw, you saw the look on Leo's face when he looked he at like, the door like, he where's like, Raph? You like, damn it. God dang it. <laughs> he, said, he said, damn it. That's Where's number four hundred and thirty-four that, that he's done this. Just go yeah. off in your rage by yourself. Right. So and he go to where the whole <laughs> he go where all the Foot Clan is at. He and gets his butt beat. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, at not at first. You know, he was knocking them out no. one out one by yeah, one, yeah. and then he started gutting them all at, in groups. But mm-hmm. once Karai came in the picture, that scene, around. yeah, that scene was tight. Now, and, and then mean once again we said spoiler alert, uh, spoiler alert. if you want you stop it right here because yeah. this next part when she jumped and they fell in the water yeah we're fell in the river they're yeah. like fighting and then he I think he stabs her right he stabs he her, stabbed her in the back with and, his side and she stabbed him in his right neck. and then she I think she yeah she caught him in his neck dog yeah. I had yeah. to look at that picture twice. Cause I was like, did he die from drowning? But then I nah. zoomed in yeah. and I'm like, oh no, dude. She she caught him in the throat. Yeah, yeah his face reaction says no. <laughs> yeah. So, and that was it. I should have tell on that one because yeah. Raph is my favorite. So so uh, someone so it looked like a hand picked Karai out of the the river. Yeah, so Karai's probably still alive. Ralph was was steady going down, so he drowned. Yeah. Went to the bottom. She went. He went down like a like a G, I guess, like, if right. you could call it that. But yeah. he never follows with the team, man. When you go like that, you good. What do you expect's gonna happen? Exactly. Exactly. Man. Yeah. So, so uh, we jump. We jump back into the present, and uh, Michelangelo is making tea and talking to his ghost brothers. The, the psychotic bro- in his yeah. in his in his mind because he's yeah. crazy now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> he's raising a toast to his brothers in his right. mind. This is yeah. so messed for up. honor. <laughs> yeah. For honor, yeah, so yeah. He he for wants mental to, health. <laughs> yeah, he wants to he wants to uh, kill the last uh, descendant of uh, the Roku, right? 
Roku Saki. Yeah. This whole line of people. Yeah. Those people, man, that line is so messed up. I can't believe the Foot Clan is still like this strong. I'm like, damn, bro, like no other clan could have developed. It's still the Foot Clan that's giving these dudes problems. Right, exactly, exactly. For life, man, for life. And if so, it actually succeed. Yeah, so April comes in the comes in and said, um, you shouldn't be uh walking around, you should be uh resting. So, but he's trying to figure out how did he survive that fall. And then so, another reveal gets and, popped up. Oh, a big one too. No that wonder. He he has actually <laughs> mutated further. Right. Yeah, he progressed his as he aged, his muti- uh, mutation has uh progressed as, old, as and well. And the only turtle to do so. So congratulations there, Michelangelo. Yeah. I cuz yeah. I for one thought that was it for them like they're muted, they're mutated and that's it. That's yeah, the max of their abilities. The only yeah. thing further that can happen is they develop more ninja skills. Yeah, but for the fact that his gene itself still mutated and made him actually stronger. Stronger. I mean, yeah, he, yeah, Tougher. he got he got the pick of the good straw right there, the lucky straw. Healing, <laughs> ex- accelerated healing. Oh yeah, oh. and the strength because so he, he, remember he fell he fell from that building right. And he's yeah. like, why the hell did I die? Yeah, it was. I thought he was dead after that. Yeah, and. For him to actually, I mean, it'd be funny if he mutated right there in the moment, but that'd be kind of dumb. Yeah. Like he muted, mutated as he was falling. That's just messed but, up. But <laughs> yeah, that's just, that won't look right. <laughs> that's why I don't write comics. <laughs> like, no, that doesn't make any sense. But uh, um, yeah, she she said that uh, since he's aged, his mutation progressed. So he's basically used to see how he is. In the, look at the pages. He's he's yeah, huge. He's, he's bigger than his, uh, Dude, bigger than Ralph. Ralph. And and he looks actually more fierce without the mask on. I always find it hard to look at their faces when they don't when they don't have right. the mask on. Right, because you don't see the no like, pupils. <laughs> yeah, but just white. Yeah, you see what? Just white eyeballs yeah. and lots of wrinkles on the side too. But he, right. even his wrinkles look brolic. I was like, God yeah, damn, dude, your yeah. wrinkle alone look like yeah. you can take out three Foot Clan members. Yeah, Jeez. Things, them things thick around his eyes. Yeah. Oh yeah. I hope. My, my wrinkles look like that when I turn whatever age he is. Like, but then dang, again, bro. it makes sense for him to be like what in his fifties so far to be <laughs> mute that mutated. You know, cause you that, think he's fifty? Yeah, well, nah, yeah. man, that dude look I like he's he pushing sixty five. Forties. No, because April was what in her fifties. Yeah, but so, she's not so a mutant. They, <laughs> but look, they, she was she was older than the turtles. True. She was, so so the, he got at least be in his forties. You think he's forties? I think. All right, we should put a bet right now. I think he's at least pushing close to sixty. He looks uh, okay. It, it depends oh. on. Okay. All right. Well, another another spoiler alert. Uh, April O'Neil has a daughter. Her name is uh, after her father, Casey. Yeah. Jones. Right. Casey Jones and April done had a girl. Yeah. So she looked like she's in her what? She looks like she's early twenties. Early twenties, yeah. So she's early twenties. She's, you know, late forties. I'm thinking, like, I don't know, man. For some reason, I think turtle years age faster than human years. So mm-hmm. he might be older. Like, you, like I don't think you could go by like it got to be like dog year versions here, right? Like he, he has to be way older. Than then again, then again, they got turtles that's like a hundred and something years old still exactly. around. Like, so he could, he, he could be that. He could be that old too. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, overall, we, we, overall, we're going off tangent. We're going, we're going off, yeah, we're going off topic. Talking about turtle ages. But yeah. um, solid, solid entry into the uh, series already. Right. And it's going to be a good one at the end. It's yeah. going to be a good one. So I'm yeah. def- this one, I kind of give this one maybe like a, I'd say an 8, 8 out of 10. It didn't hit as hard as the first one because the first one kind of threw you into like, what the heck is going on? Um, yeah. This one was more like... Uh, Subtle entry for me. I, I, it hit hard, but not as hard as the first one. Mm-hmm. Well, I give. How it, about you? I give it an eight for um, giving me some same rate. Back, give me some more background, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Also, um, so was she Casey? Casey Jones uh, asked asked Michelangelo what he's been up to since the fall of the turtles, and he basically said he just walked. To the uh, to the mountains and uh, stay to himself. Yeah, trained on and his that's own. Something that Michelangelo don't do. He was basically just meditating and and, and kept to himself. Right. And that was yep. Pretty weird. But 
it's all anti Michelangelo now. This is just right. new age what, how yeah. he is. Yeah, but definitely yeah. solid entry. And once again, folks, when we do get, uh, can we? Can I make this announcement right now, yeah. or we gotta wait? We can do. It I now. can make it right now. All right, cool. So once we get through all, because I think it's five, uh, five entries here for this for this uh, series, this mini series. Once we yeah. get through all five, folks, we are gonna be doing a giveaway here on the Call Like I Don't See It podcast. Oh, we are begin with a lucky winner, all five issues. So if you listening right now, you'd be like, "Oh man, I, I don't even have one. I picked up two. I don't know if I'm gonna get three. Well, hold on. Listen in here. We're gonna give you all five if you win, and I'll give away competition coming up later when it's Ooh. all done. Also, <laughs> drop a mic. Drop a mic. Also, <laughs> also we have. Oh, uh, speaking of comics giveaways, yeah, go yeah, ahead, yeah. G. Uh, we got we um releasing a new um we're doing a giveaway this episode. As a matter of mm-hmm. fact, and the comic is called Berserk er, by Keanu Reeves. Keanu done dropped a comic on us, folks. He done co-written a comic book, folks. He's in comic, he's in video games, an action-packed movie, man, and mm-hmm. now he's giving you a comic book. And we're giving it away here on the call like I don't say it. Huh? Okay, here goes the plot. The man only known as Berserker is a half-mortal, half-god, cursed and compelled to violence even at the sacrifice of his insanity. But after wandering the world for centuries, Berserker may finally found a refuge working for the U.S. government to fight the battles too violent and too dangerous for anyone else. In exchange, Berserker will be granted the, the one thing he desires, the truth about his endless blood-soaked existence and how to end it. So if that sounds like something you want to listen to, read to, yeah. <laughs> we're giving it to you. So, and we're going to hit you off with the question later on in this show, in this episode, to let you know what you got to look for. And if you get it right on the next episode, we will give you that comic. Yep. yep. All right. So we actually did a twofer here with the comics corner. So congratulations. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Double, All right. We're going to call it there on the uh, TMNT Ronin number two. Call it, call it on TMNT. Call it on that. Call it on that. All righty. Well, moving on. Moving on. Oh, oh say, oh, can oh, you oh, see oh, we're coming to America? America. All right. So coming to America too just dropped on Amazon Prime. Yes, sir. And um, we took a look at it. I had looked at it last night. Me. Um, too. I think you took it a look. You saw it last night as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it last night. And if, if, for you guys that don't know, I mean, if you're living under a rock, I don't know why I get out from under that rock because uh, it deals with the it's a sequel to the direct um, first movie. Um, they came back from I was gonna say Wakanda, but Zamunda. Zamunda. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Eddie Murphy in this movie. I just <laughs> just say Eddie Murphy uh, has a son. Yes, sir. Bastard son. Yes, sir. <laughs> and, <laughs> a bastard son. King a king. And, uh, he is the next king, the next prince in line for the throne after um, Eddie Murphy's character passes away. Yeah, hopefully, they, I don't know if they're going to do a third coming to America, but that's where our story picks up, and he's right. on the search to see and bring him over and get him acclimated to all things Zemunda related. Yes, sir. So, what did you think about this uh, here sequel here, G? A good love letter to the first one, but the story was kind of out of whack it seemed like this one was kind of in a rush to resemble the first one the first one yeah Uh uh-huh but i did like all the callbacks okay i like i like all the callbacks in in this one but also it was like a little bit more goofier than the first one to me it was. It seemed forced with the goofiness. Like yeah. a lot of the goofiness seemed forced. Like, hey man, we're, we're right. still trying here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All us old people. Right. So it was like, <clears throat> like, um, for example, it was it was an odd scene of having uh, King Jaffe, James Earl's character, as as having his funeral so he can see it. Right. And basically <laughs> telling, letting him know that he's about to go. <laughs> yeah. That, so was, that was, that that was, was a bit over the odd. top. Yeah. That was it was odd. odd, but actually it turned out to be like, I think I was yeah. thinking about it. I'm like, it, I think I, I might want to go out like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's like when you see it, like all those, all those celebrities that they had, mm. and Morgan Freeman basically narrating his life and all that stuff. It was, it was pretty cool, but it was just odd for 
Yeah, because it was there was it wasn't that goofy and odd in the first one. Like, yeah, it seemed like extent. King Joffrey would not say that in the first one. But like no, his his no. personality is he not got like, goofier. He yeah, got a little yeah. bit more looser here in the second yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. But in the idea of how he how he died in the funeral, how he wanted to watch it first and then like yeah. pass away, uh-huh. I actually was like, you know. But I wouldn't mind going out like that. Like if I know, yeah. like I have a terminal disease. Yeah, it should be like a new trend, you know. Like yeah. we just, you know, continue this trend of stupidity. Well, they, and, they, they, people and, do that. <laughs> people do it's that. Just we you know, have a live party. You're in a coffin and be like, oh man, this is the best coffin party ever. You, you know what? People, then, people do that, but they be, but instead of them being alive to see it, they they have dead bodies just standing there. Mm. <laughs> Wait, you've seen this for real? Yeah, yes. Look on the internet. Oh man, I haven't seen this. Yeah. I'm talking about I'm talking about doing it the way like King Jaffa did it. No, 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 no. Like, no, because he was alive. I'm saying they have dead bodies just be mm-hmm. standing like they're actually just standing on their own. Wow. While they're celebrating them. That's crazy. Yeah. I gotta look that up. I gotta see yeah. that. See mm-hmm. myself. But yeah, it was definitely a lighter tone. There's a lot of colors in this movie <laughs> yeah. popping off. Yeah. Kind of felt like a mix of Narnia I'm watching here. I was like, what the yeah, heck is all yeah. these, these vibrant colors? Right. The costumes were a bit on point. I give them right. that. The costumes were, were, were definitely good. Yeah. Wesley Snipes coming back into the picture cracked me up. I was like, what are you doing, boy? <laughs> He's all going in, yeah. jumping yeah, I, in, like, I, I, doing his little intro dance. It was hilarious. That, that whole uh, that whole militant group. Was I, I was I wasn't I wasn't really like affected as like you know that's another thing they weren't about intimidating this. at yeah, all yeah they, they wasn't intimidating, intimidating as far as Akeem trying to not be assassinated right. to go look for his uh, bastard son mm-hmm. to be a prince so it was like eh, oh. nah they were very very comical. Comical. Very, very common. Yeah. yeah, and then every yeah. intro was kind of over the top. Like you, you know, right. the camera zooms in all like over dramatically on the new like. Yeah. Oh, Wesley Snipes. Oh, yeah. Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Oh, we got this new cat. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the only part that felt like the most original to me and like, oh snap, I'm glad they were back was the, the barbershop people. The barbershop. Right. <laughs> yeah. That was the best part of the movie to me. Like going yeah. back to them. But then even in because a lot of things in comedy has changed over the years, of course, right? In terms of what you can say, who you can't push blah right. blah 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 mm-hmm. and it's kind of unfortunate that this is I mean where it is now with comedy was like you have to water down so much stuff just to appease so many different people yeah and he they had to actually explain it you catch that they were explaining it in the movie yeah. at that barbershop exactly. scene they were They're like that is I can't be doing this I don't know that man and then I can't really talk about that but then I can't talk about this so I gotta do it I'm like what, you I mean yeah it was okay that they explained it but at the same time we understand why you can't say certain things because right. if you go back and watch the original coming to America, they say some raunchy stuff right now that's not like it'd be like it'll push a lot of people these days because the, the world that we're in right now is hella soft. You might right? be out so, your goddamn body. <laughs> so everybody will be like, "Oh my god, I'm so offended by this! Fire this actor! Get this director fired!" <laughs> you know, he's labeled this way. So a lot of the previous stuff that were funny in the first coming to America can't really translate over well here in the sequel. Exactly. So th- that's why I think we got the whole goofiness, the cool goofy approach, and everything's all light and not really too serious so I was like ah man but, it sucks and also <laughs> so it's like I, I I was I was okay with the continuity correction of the scene where they show how Akeem impregnated um What's her name? Leslie Jones. Leslie Jones's character. <laughs> right. Yeah, it, that was kind of weird because they had the little CGI. <laughs> the CGI faces. The CGI they, they had their own on the studio and Eddie's. Yeah. Jing process here. Yeah. It wasn't quite uh, Lucas Films esque or Marvel esque. Right. right. It was like they, they was very puffy. <laughs> yeah. Was, Leslie Jones, though, I give her some props. She was funny. She was funny in this movie. Yeah. She yeah, had some she was funny moments. Yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly, another person that was funny was uh, Lisa character. She, she was Lisa. Really funny. She was okay. Uh, yeah. For me, she when didn't she hit was, it as hard. When she was drunk, she was she was pretty. Loose yeah, when she pretty. got drunk, she was funny. Yeah. But at first, I was like, something's wrong with her health wise. I was looking at her. I was like, what's up with you? You look kind of druggy. <laughs> like she looked a little druggy. I was like, somebody might want to check on her uh, mental health situation over there because. <laughs> oh. 
I'm, I'm serious. Like, it, did you, like, I looked, she didn't look healthy, right? She, she looked like she was trying to keep it together. She just looked older to me. <laughs> <laughs> Something looked, I, I don't want to bring this up because it's kind of like, you know, maybe, but when Whitney, you remember when we saw Whitney Houston when she came back and in the, in the picture and we're like, oh my God, what happened to your body? Right? <laughs> I was looking at her and I was like, what the hell happened? To, what's going on with you? Uh, Lisa, something's up over there. You know, so yeah, I was just yeah. like a little concerned, a little concerned. But, um, um I, so, so some things I liked about the story and some things I didn't, I didn't like I didn't, it seemed like um, Lavelle's character it seems like once he heard how ha- Hakeem went to America to fall in love it felt like he just had to fall in love mm-hmm. with 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 someone you know what I'm yeah, saying yeah he just it was just forced it was just forced to push yeah, the it plot it seemed along. pretty forced yeah that's all it was. It was like, man, let's try to stick to the plot and stick to the thing. Just mm-hmm. keep the formula pretty simple. Make a few goofiness, goofy lines there. And but, um, that was it. But I did like how um, still after all these years, Akeem was still turning to his father as far as the rules of mm-hmm. how everything going on without um, changing it. Because his daughter been wanting to be the next one um, after Akeem to be a uh, queen. But he did. He did go and listen to his mother's advice eventually, just like how he did right. in the first one. Right. Right. Because even though he was listening to his father, and that's when uh, Lisa checked him. Like, look, you were supposed to do things different. And then he remembers, like, oh yeah, my mom did say something like that yeah. <laughs> in the first one. But it, it, so, it all happened with um, Lisa's dad had to tell him. When right. He right. Actually, right. get it. Yeah. That was the most heartfelt moment of the yeah. of the movie, yeah. but other than that, I mean, it was a. I, I, I didn't laugh as hard as I was expecting. I was looking to laugh more. I didn't really I, laugh as hard. The only time I actually laughed was one. when uh, Randy <laughs> Randy Watson came out. Man. Came back at the end. Yeah, there, yeah, and that's yeah, a oh. the end. The Wait, end was, the end. Was I didn't even laugh. I laughed a bit. I was like, ah, oh, damn, bro. <laughs> these, <laughs> these kind of these kind of movies, man, when you bring like this reminds me of Expendables. All these old action heroes <laughs> and these old comedy people. Just yeah. leave it alone. Just leave it alone. <laughs> leave the classics alone. Don't bring them back because it doesn't hit the same. You know what it's, I mean? It's like, I the- still can <laughs> stick and move. I'm like, no, you can't. You, it's, it's not working. It's one of those movies where I wouldn't want to see. You know how I come to America. Like, like you could be anywhere, and you just, you just, if it's on, you just gonna watch the whole mm. thing. Like this one's uh-huh. like, I could just watch this one time, and I'm cool. Yeah, I don't need to see this again. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to see this again. Yeah. That's enough. That was yeah. enough. I'm not coming to America. I'm already in America. I'm not gonna come back to it again twice yeah. or three times after that. So, um, yeah. Overall, I'm gonna give this thing a six. I gave it a six. Six. I give it a. Yeah, I'm going six. I'm gonna give it a seven for. Um, for nostalgia. Seven for nostalgia. All right, yeah. nostalgia points there on that. Yeah. So go ahead, folks. If you want to check it out? Coming to America two on Amazon Prime. Um, if it's your if it's your slice of tea, go ahead and sip it. Yeah. <coughs> Good. Can we move on from Zamunda? We can move on from Zamunda. <laughs> Thank you. I'm ready to call, 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 call it. Call it. Then. Call it there. All right. Moving on to quick minutes. Talking about real quick, 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 not quick blitz, quick. Bits, all yes. right? <laughs> yes. So, look it over there, ready play too. I'm watching y'all. I'm listening we to y'all. We hear you. All right. We, we heard you. you. We quick heard bits you. here, folks. It'll be, it'll be a battle between quick blitz and quick bits going on. <laughs> I'm calling the war right now. <laughs> calling the war. All right. First quick bit we got going on. First JJ Watt, while we were gone. JJ Watt decided, hey, I'm out. Houston, you lost a good one. He's over with the uh, Arizona Cardinals now on a two year contract worth $31 million. Um, it was pretty weird seeing JJ Watt in a Cardinals outfit, in a Cardinals Jesse uh, uh, shirt, sorry, working out. Apparently, um, that's it for him here in Houston. So goodbye, JJ. He did a lot for the Houston city, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this this yes, is why it's did. hitting really hard. Yeah, it's hitting really hard. I was just cracking up because <laughs> Deshaun Watson is still there. Like, can I get out? Can yeah. I get out? Just Please, through, I want out. Look at through that window. <laughs> He's it's, looking at everybody, and it's across two different sports too. He's looking at Harden having a baller time yeah, in, in Brooklyn. Yeah. He's looking at uh, Hopkins and, and uh, JJ now having a gonna have a great time in Arizona. <laughs> He's like, all my friends and Houston are gone. <laughs> I want to leave. Yeah. Uh, listen, we should try to get a petition going. Just get yeah, him out. Just get Deshaun out. If you Help go, him. Out. Let him go. Let him go. Help him out. All right. So that's the case there on that one. Next quick bit. Go on. Next quick bit. Whoa. We finally get a Spider-Man title. For Spider-Man 3 
and it's called No Way Home. Now, yes, we missed that announcement there the last week that we took a gap on. Yes, but. that's that's what happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, um, AD, what do you think No Way Home means? No Way Home means he's not going to be able to go back to his original his original home. He's probably going to have to find a new home in a different multiverse because Doctor Strange is in, included here. So he's probably going to have to settle in a new home in a new dimension somewhere mm. <laughs> where he where his identity is not known. Okay. Okay. So that might cause problems. That could possibly be how he meets Miles because Miles is going to, hey man, this is my universe. Okay. And then he's like, nah, dude, I got I to gotta lay low here. My universe is messed up now. It could be, it could be <laughs> well, that, it could be, it could be that, or he's a fugitive on the run. Right. Throughout but, the but, but within, but within his, his universe. Within his universe. Yes. Well, you yeah. see, this is the problem because with Doctor Strange being there and the the casting of the other two Spider Men from before, right? Yeah. He's gonna I have think, to, he's gonna have to travel through those verses. Now, this is what I think. <laughs> This is my theory on that. I think he's going to be a fugitive on a run throughout the movie. And at the end, Dr. Strange come because whatever happened in Multiverse of Madness opened up the Spider-Verse. So you're saying at the end of the movie, Dr. Strange is going to come? Yes. Okay. I think he's going to be more like throughout. I think it's throughout. May, possibly. I'm going. Yeah, I'm he's got to be throughout because. I'm going with your your theory or my theory. I'm just creating more theories, though, really. <laughs> okay, you're doing more red tape. More red tape here. More red G. tape. Oh, let me wrap this up. <laughs> All right, All moving right. on. Quick bits. All right, next quick bit. Moving on. Okay, so while we're away, Anthem got canceled. Next quick bit. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Anthem got canceled. That's it. Bye. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> That's all you needed to know. I don't need to explain anything. <laughs> Anthem canceled. That's all that's you need true. to know. Anthem if you canceled. wanted to go for 2.0, that's it. Nobody was really playing Anthem in the first game. So nope. No one cares. We're wasting time here, G. I should not be talking about this more than five Moving seconds. Moving on. All right. Uh, Anthem canceled. That's it. Bye. <laughs> that's good bit. Woo! That's good bit. Tom Clancy, without remorse, Michael B. Jordan is starring in this um, Amazon original, which will be airing April 30th, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and, it's coming um, up on April 30th. Uh, what you think about the action? What you think about the trailer? First off, the trailer was, uh, trailer was I mean, it's nothing. It, it looked like a regular, you know, yeah. war hero kind of movie. You know, yeah, just the yeah. cliche stuff over right. again yeah. with a different, a different kind of special effects stuff here yeah. and there. But that's why, that's it, why I went with the action. action packed. I'm look. I'm thinking of, yeah. about the action. I'll watch it for the action. Yeah. You, oh, so do you want to review this? Is this you proposing? With- you review this on the podcast? Is that hey, what you want to hey, do? Hey, it's going, it's, it's going to be on Amazon Prime, so might as well. All right, might we as well. Already, okay, we stay tuned did. for that. Look, we did come to America. Might as well do. Without we, uh, God, I knew he was going to say that. All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> fine. Amazon's really trying to step their game up here, folks. They're yeah. trying to get their yeah. Uh, yeah. movie game here. Trying to yeah. keep up with Netflix. Yeah. But the only one part of the trailer, and folks... If you haven't seen it, go see it now. The only one part of the trailer, I was like, what? He lights the freaking car on fire, and right? Inside, yeah. He, he, he does things unorthodox. Yeah, okay. He yeah. goes inside yeah. of the car that he lit on fire to interrogate yeah. a guy while the car's on fire. You have about five seconds before yeah. that thing blows up. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> the only difference is he don't care about dying. <laughs> He's without I remorse. <laughs> I... I, I Hey, I understand that, but the door's still hot. How you touch yeah. that and that's just not hot? Yeah, he, oh, that, that oh, hand God. burning. He ain't gonna. He just. He just worried about uh, he, he, who the next. Who, where are they? That's he oh. worried about. Later on, after oh, he find out where God. are they, his hand gonna be hurt. You like? Ah, he's gonna be. He's gonna put some ice in that thing later on. <sighs> so yeah, it's it, the third I, degree. I don't know. <laughs> it's definitely a third degree, but. Uh, Stay tuned for that, I guess. We'll be looking out for it. Yeah, it, stay it, looked, tuned. it looked interesting to an extent. Stay tuned with that. Speaking <laughs> All right. Of, and uh, you have some. Yeah, oh, go yeah. ahead. Speaking of uh, Michael B. Jordan, um, you know, J.J. Abrams is uh, adapting a reboot of Superman. And um, Michael B. Jordan might be the first black Superman. Yeah, you see, this is where what we talked about a couple weeks ago, right? With the bender yeah. gen, the bender gending, <laughs> the race bending. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Ready for ready for him to be a Superman? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Unless uh, this DC is, right now, this is you I don't think. mean DC. <laughs> if, if I think this is a a, a, a whole new story and a um, uh, Elseworld 
storyline, I'm down with it. I know that is your stuff right there, G. That is your stuff right there. Take it. Yeah. <laughs> Take it. I, I stayed a little quiet just now. I was just like, that's you. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's, like, if it's a, if it's a, a, if it's a, if it's a off world, if it's a else world storyline, and because the, the DC, uh, the DC cinematic universe is all it's not really nothing right now anyway it's so never why been not anything why not <laughs> it's, but it's never been anything <laughs> it's never been anything g <laughs> it tried to know be why it tried i feel to be like something. i feel like and especially after we go through talking about what we talk about later on i'm like i don't see the need to bring dc talk on this podcast anymore. what <laughs> just, just i don't know it just seems like a waste of minutes <laughs> just a waste <laughs> I'll sit through it though. I'll do it. No yeah, problem. You gotta I'll sit watch. through it, I'll man. Listen. You got to, man. Yeah. Come on, man. I you might like thing. something, man. Come on. You can't like say you can't like something that come out. You oh, know. I do love the stuff. I love the credits, man. You know, <laughs> <laughs> credits hit hard on the mob. <laughs> DC, y'all credits is on points. <laughs> y'all credits be on point. Anyway, so that's it there. All right, we out. Woo! Quick Okay, all right, okay. Um, whoa, look out! Oh, look out whoa. Oh, oh, what is that? What is that? It looked like a big what? foot just ran across the street. Is that a freaking monster? I oh my so. god, I think so. Oh, damn it, just took out that south tower. Oh, shit. Oh, Dude, man. we gonna need help, bro. We need help. Yeah, Get somebody yeah, over yeah. here. Let me, let's call. Right, we're not call. doing let's this call. on our own. Let we're not call. doing this on our own. I built for this. All right, MC Paper Sacks, Mark, we need you. We need your help. We hear you guys. We're on our way. Roger that. I'll bring the barrels to stack. Snacks reporting Whoa. for battle. What's oh, up, guys? How you guys doing, man? That's the trouble. This right there. Yeah, I don't I think we can handle this on our own. I'm glad you guys are here, man. Yeah. Perfect timing. Yeah. I think Basically, we're gonna have to combine our form? powers and transform. What do you think, Merc? I think it's morphine drip time. Go, go. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. I said the wrong words. I said the wrong words, man. Oh, 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 morphine. Can we speed this up? We got a morph. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. It's morphine time. Voice it all. Sweaty Tooth Tiger. Splash it out, Triple Swords. I don't know if our Zords can handle this individually. I think we need Triple Sword power now. GP report for duty. Why is so dusty in here? MC Paper Stacks! These seats are nice. Is this leather? Uh, 80 here. Somebody's clogged the damn toilet already! It, the, 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 the Zoid's toilet is, is clogged up now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to have the janitor look at that! Oh yeah. Alright guys, the Jurtastic 4 has assembled. Now, let's beat this monster! MC Paper Stacks, grab the power sword! AG, ah, ah, scream ah, at it really loud! Ah, ah, GP, oh, no, <laughs> GP, power source plug the waterways! I can barely hold on to it! Is there anything I can, I can do besides screaming? I, I feel like I should do more in my Zord. No, it's so, but you're it's so wet. power. Oh. Well, no, no, it's so kiosk! It's so wet in here, guys! Kiosk! No one listen to me unless I say kiosk! Ah, so the water. water! Kiosk! Is it, uh, oh, am no. I supposed to say no, Usa when I press my buttons? Us. Can I say Usa when I press my buttons? Usa! Watch out, he's like a punch! He, brace yourself! I don't know if it was such a good idea for us to be so moist! <laughs> guys are too moist and the points are slippery! The points are slippery everywhere! Everything's slipping! It's not working, working man! It's not working here! Ah, uh, just... Just every, just press all the buttons. Press them as press fast as you can. The, 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 the damn cage was right in front of us. We gotta do something else besides just jump. He's yeah. about to kick our faces. Okay, fine. I'll press this one button. Ugh. Can oh, I change the radio station? I really want to change the radio station. Don't change the damn radio station. You don't ever touch a black man's radio. Ah, <laughs> uh, kiosk. 
Radio station change initiate EDM. So only the radios work. Guys, guys, we gotta focus up, man. This guy's doing some serious damage. Okay, okay, okay. The system is down. System is down. Shields at two percent. Shields at two percent. No, no, kiosk. The system is literally down. That's not the EDM. We're gonna crash. This is it! We're going down! Last time! Yeah! Oh, toughest fight. That was a waste of a fight. Yeah. We didn't do nothing. Yeah, we didn't do nothing. Oh, man. Nothing worked. Or swords nothing worked. are destroyed. Jeez. Oh, man. Oh, snap. This is a good thing we crashed we? in the studio. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, microphones yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Oh, there's a mic for you. For you. Yeah. Hey, is there's the snacks? Yeah. Hey, I got dibs on, on these bear claws, guys. I'm uh, sorry. Is that coffee? Those Doritos uh, are mine. Do not touch the Doritos. Mm. Mm. All right. Oh, I guess right. we can finish well, out the episode. I guess yeah, we can do might this. Might as well uh, do a podcast while we're here in the studio, right? Might yeah. as well. Yeah. Might yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. What do you say? Might as well All right. Impatient. Doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's do it. Nah, leave All right, it to sweet. the professionals. All <laughs> <laughs> right. Sweet. The Power Rangers are on call. <laughs> Yeah, don't 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 call us. We yeah, suck. Yeah, we suck yeah, at yeah, that job. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is not the one for us. Uh, right. So welcome back, uh, MC Baby Snacks and uh, Derek. <laughs> Thank you guys <laughs> for joining yeah, what's in. What's going on? Well, this is uh, yeah. been a while since yeah. we've uh, connected like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. no, yeah, it's it's good to be here. You know, when I gave you uh, those power coins, I didn't actually think you were going to cash them in. We don't really do the superhero thing. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah I figured why I play not? video yeah. games. For, I, I play video games like for f- hours every day. I, I'm horribly out of shape. I haven't seen the sun yeah. in like at least 16 months. <laughs> so. Yeah, those those jumps and backflips aren't what they used to be. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. really mm-hmm. tough to jump into. They're more like uh, cartwheels and tumbles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and belly, I call mine belly flops. I like the belly flop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Belly flop is oh. belly flop. <laughs> belly flop is yeah. my sword. <laughs> All right, and, and make it back in time to take care of my little son. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay, so we are definitely going to just jump right ahead into this. Of course, it's the major talk of the town. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wanda Vision. Double vision. The season finale. Oh, my God. The, the season series finale. Season finale. finale. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Series. Sorry. Series finale. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Correction. Yeah. Series. So, uh, you guys are more than welcome to take this whichever way you want to start. We're going to yeah. start with our guest here. What is? What are your thoughts? Just go ahead. Talk, How Wanda. Feel? How do you feel? Go ahead, MC. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I feel honored. You're welcome. I, I loved it. Um, I built myself up a lot. Uh, expectations were high. I'm like, is it Mephisto? Is it Nightmare? Is it worth it? Let me work it. I didn't know what it was going to be. I mean, I put my theories down, I flipped them, and I reversed them. You know? But at the end of the day... It's not what you thought it the end, but it's not what you thought before. Uh, but, you know, I, I think... It's still wrapped up in a way where you have a clear jump off point for Wanda, you know, Mm -hmm. like she's kind of unlocked a path to her extraordinary powers. You didn't get vision fusion, but you unlocked a path to get vision. You unlocked Mm -hmm. a path to get her kids back, Um, you know, and I'm just excited to see what happens next. They confirmed the dark hold is in the mix. So Mm -hmm. it's basically the one ring, (laughs) but it's the one book. (laughs) <laughs> the one book to and rule them all. The <laughs> Basically, man, you know, I mean, elder, eldritch gods and elder gods are tied up in that mess. It's going to yeah. be crazy. I, the possibilities I, are endless. I and had to the, yeah. instantly oh, yeah, Google, go like, yeah. right after. No, my, my, my bad. I had to instantly Google Darkhold because I didn't know that whole area of the, uh, of the comic. And I hit him. like, what the hell is this Darkhold shit? Mm-hmm. And I looked it up. Yeah. I was like, oh, snap. This is what they're doing? <laughs> it's wow. significant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? right? But I the think only my reason favorite, that I... I'll go ahead. 
No, no, I was going to say, last thing, last thing. I know I'm going on forever. My favorite thing about the the way the show wrapped is they kept to the Wanda story and her arc and the, emo- and the emotional core of the series. And you had that last moment with the family where she was able to say goodbye and kind of work oh through her God. grief. The and tears. it was touching. The you know, at the, at the end of the day, the, the story about the family was what really mattered. And it wrapped yes. up. Mm-hmm. You know, she didn't get everything she wanted. She could have even been punished a little bit more. I'm like, should Hayward be the only one going to jail? I don't know. But, you know, yeah. she's going off to reflect, and I get it. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And also, what are you going to do to the Scarlet Witch? <laughs> exactly. For real, for real. All she said her damage. It's like, nobody's going to call the cops against this chick? No, we can't. The cops mm-hmm. can't do shit against her. <laughs> all those town people just mean mugging. Yeah. That's all I can do. I like how <laughs> yes. I like how she was not forgiven for it either. Especially yeah, right. for the townspeople. It's just yeah. like, you, yeah. did your, you did your dirt, yeah. and now you got to deal with it. Get out of here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Monica was pretty... Home. Monica kind of gave pretty forgiving. amount of empathy. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, she was like, hey, I may have done the same thing in my position. Mm-hmm. And it's right. not like it was conscious at first. I think where she kind of overstepped was in the 70s after she kicked Monica out and kind of realized, oh shit, what am I doing? Right. She just didn't right. want to know, you know? And her yeah. grief was hurting people, much like grief can do in real life. And I thought that was yeah. a really interesting and reflection. It's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting you brought that up because I was talking to a coworker the other day and I was like, this is the first, I think in the Marvel and cinematic universe, the first character that's really going through grief like for a long period of time mm-hmm. and because of the spectacle of like Endgame and Infinity War and all that and nobody's mm-hmm. really paid attention to the fact like this chick has gone through some serious shit yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know mm-hmm. she's really strong yeah. but at the same time emotional Emotionally, she is broken. Yeah. She is seriously broken. Yeah. So for the fact, like it played out the way it did in this in this series, and I was just like, man, this was this is beautiful for her. Now she's not just a side character; she's a, a powerhouse of a character now. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm in love oh, with yeah. her. I'm in love with her and Vision. I'm, I'm in love with their story. This made me mm-hmm. huge fans of them. I'm excited to see what's next. What the, What do y'all yeah. think about Vision versus Vision? That battle. Oh, that was the best fight. And how it ended yeah. in a like philosophical. It was so vision. Day. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the right. Exactly. Uh, kind of word problem. Which AD, mm-hmm. you're a teacher. How dope was that when they were like going over that classic that problem? Like if you replace yeah. the ship bit by bit, is it still the same ship? I'm like, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah. And I, I was, I was like, wow, it, it, it fits so well. And I was just, and then like I pull out my little cup of tea at the same time, and I was just like, ooh, this is interesting. I like this word. Yeah, this <laughs> like, because I mean, wait, we can see, we've seen all the spectacle of a battle. So for the fact of them to just pause the battle and the, the the destruction around them just to sit mm-hmm. and be like hold up wait a second let's be like smart men right now smart mm-hmm. sentient beings and right. let's do this right. let's figure this out the right mm-hmm. way right. you know yeah. did anyone did anyone get Man of Steel vibes when Vision went up behind White Vision and like grabbed his neck <laughs> yeah. yeah oh no yeah. Yeah. I, was like, yeah. I was like Man of Steel yeah. <laughs> no, he about no. to snap it in half don't do it don't do it Don't do it. they had a lot of callbacks <laughs> right. slash easter eggs like when he uh, was trying to get the mind stone from his head kind of yeah, like that amazing there. instead yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I flinched up at that part. I was like, "Oh God, stop! Can we stop with that grip from now on? Because I think right. it's, it still hits today. Like that's pulling see, up the see what happened. See, he didn't have big enough fingers. Thanos had head-sized fingers, so he yeah, was able to just, yeah, whoop. yeah, big old meaty fingers, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> big old sausages coming out. <laughs> G, what were your thoughts? I want to hear what you thought, G. We haven't talked on this yet. Um, overall, the episode it was a good um series finale, and I think. Think uh, what's about to come in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness is gonna mm. gonna do something with uh, you know Wanda messing with that book of the damn. So yeah. um, probably Doctor Strange is gonna have to fix everything. Both of them are gonna mm. have to fix it. So I guess um, I guess she's. I th- this is my theory. I think she's gonna try to uh, bring her kids back, but it's a it's a. Is a takeaway from it. So, like, once once you do that, whatever spell she do, I mm. think something's gonna happen to the to that dimension. I think the dimension is gonna shatter. And, and then um, and then Doctor Strange is gonna have to step in and be like, "Yo, chick, what are you yeah, doing?" Yeah, right. Yeah. You just and I was, I was shocked. The whole universe. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> if you think about it, uh, Wanda is always to blame. Like from mm-hmm. from. Um, what the Lagos? Lagos? Yeah, from, from uh, Age yeah, of Ultra. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To um, 
What else she did? To, be, to being on the wrong Civil side War. in Civil War. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Sokovia. All that. Yeah, yep. Sokovia. All of that. Yeah. All of that. So it kind of it kind of seems like if we're gonna take a thing from another um, franchise here, she's on the dark side, right? She's she's definitely mm-hmm. probably like the female Anakin right now, and she's on her arc to becoming like the next Darth Vader, but in yeah. Scarlet Speaking Witch. Of- Speaking of arcs, you don't think that kind of reverses her arc? Because she willingly let the Hex die out and lost her family because she knew it was wrong. Yeah. So for her Mm. to go and mess things up again, like knowing what the stakes are and still Mm. going through with it, wouldn't that kind of reverse her arc at that point? I'm not saying it's not possible. I just Mm. wonder how they can actually justify that when she's already made that sacrifice play, you know? Yeah. Right. Right. I hope, I I think, um, whatever whatever happens, I think, I don't think she's gonna, I don't think, um, innocent people are going to be the problem. I can just think it's just a dimension problem. Issue. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Call on the yeah, doc. Whatever happens. Corruption from the book, you know? Could yeah. It just be could be. Whatever yeah. happens, yeah. it's going to be amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. whatever happens, I'll yeah. watch yeah. it. Marvel has, <laughs> Marvel has not missed in quite a while. Yeah. Yeah, like, probably like the 10 years. The last miss they had was not since the, Dark the Dark World. World. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, that was the last. Yeah. I'd say I'd say partially, partially Captain Marvel. That movie didn't hit as hard with me. I was just like, well, you know, but yeah, everything I mean, yeah. outside of that, it was a little pandery yeah. and ham-fisted at parts. I think yeah. one of the most effective moments, and I wish more of the movie was like this, was at the end when the guy was like, "Put down, put down your gun, fight me like a man," and she was like, "Nah," <laughs> and I was right. like, "Thank you, finally, somebody making some sense." Yeah, right, right. Yeah. I did enjoy I'm a woman. the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need I don't need this all this macho posturing bullshit. Pow, you're dead. Right, yeah. <laughs> I did enjoy Photon like showing some of her powers too in the season, uh, series for yeah. that man. Like yeah, that yeah, was freaking yeah. boss. I was, I was like, oh shit. And I don't really know much on her powers at all. Cause I was actually I'm like, well, give me a step by step, play by play. What can she do? You know, and it seems like she she just draws her energies from the universe around her. Is that what she does? It's it seems like, like she can I'm almost a, identify and emulate energy yeah. in a way. Yeah. It seems mm-hmm. like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, from that Because you notice her eyes words. change yeah. to the color of energy. She's like trying to align with. See, we've seen them go blue. Right. We've right. seen them go blue. purple to, uh, to mm-hmm. identify Agnes's yellow. energy. Mm-hmm. Yellow to identify maybe the kinetic energy from the bullets and then yeah. matching mm-hmm. that and even taking the energy away, which is how the bullet dropped. I mean, right. but it, she's still not doing it on purpose. It's still like, right. A, right. like a defense she, mechanism that's reactionary. So. Yeah. Oh, I think she's I love that they're bringing in learning to do with that. Yeah, 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 sure, for sure. I love that they're bringing in more obscure characters because you know we had those main Avenger types, and now we're getting like really far off. Like Photon, I had never heard of her. Same before the series, <laughs> but also Same crushing here. it with the casting. I love the woman that plays Monica Rambeau. She's amazing. Yeah. yeah. She's, oh yeah. She's, she's my second. I wife. mean, to coin yeah. a phrase, she's <laughs> dripping. <laughs> she's <laughs> dripping <laughs> with charisma. Yeah. You know what I mean? She could be in the Dripastic mm-hmm. Four. She's it. Double cheeked up. <laughs> that, <that's laughs> wait, wait. So, well, Monica and Darcy. Darcy, yeah. Both of those is um, yeah. So Thickums, ladies, right there. Yeah. yeah. But oh yeah, yeah. I mean, excellent actors hot too. <laughs> yes, we're, yeah. we're fair at all. Well, let's, we have let's, to focus let's, on yeah, yeah. Focus. <laughs> they are right. They are excellent actors. They are beautiful women. They are yes. excellent actors. Yes, yes. But that's a great actor. It, yes, they could have just been beautiful. You know, I mean, we know a lot of, especially right uh, on the come up, female a- uh, actors that you know they're just pretty, but they didn't bring charisma and personality to the screen. So mm. you could legitly say that Darcy and Monica, both of them, are really charismatic and fun to watch. And you're they a fan of them, are. you know. It, it's not mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. another pretty face for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So right, yeah. right. Which is good. And then they're gonna have a nice little role going forward in phase four, you know? Mm-hmm. And the, yeah. the, like the diversity, like you guys saying, like the diversity of the roles that's coming up now, it's like like kind of fitting in with society right now as it is. So everybody's gonna get a piece of the Marvel pie, yeah. you know? So it's mm-hmm. like, like I yeah. feel kind of left out. No, we got somebody for you here, Marvel. Come on over. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um uh, I kind of felt oh go ahead, Jake. Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna talk about uh Jimmy Wu saying he can you, can you come within an hour? <laughs> Inside <laughs> <Boy>. an hour. <laughs> Yeah. He faked the crap out of that dude. He bluffed yeah. like hell on that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that part was hilarious. You're I kind of was a little. I, I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of was slightly he's... disappointed with um with the uh, man Quicksilver. Like the, I was, I was oh, hoping oh, yeah, for the, yeah, yeah. the X Men reveal there. Mm-hmm. Oh man, yeah. yeah. 
That was my only disappointment. But I was like, ah, oh, but it was, it's small. But I was just like, ah, oh, I was so wanted it. I yeah, so was ready yeah. for it. He, right. he was but what a way to red herring that had us way focused right. on things that that are just yeah. weren't ready yet. Because mm. I definitely was like, yeah, multiverse, multiverse, multiverse. What, what did what did you <laughs> yeah. what did y'all had wrong throughout this season? Everything. Everything. <laughs> well, that that um, that Hayward was anybody but just an asshole director. Um, uh-huh. That Vision was gonna get to stick around that the kids were going to get to stick around that Agnes mm. wasn't the big bad. Yeah. I think mean, um, that was the biggest one for me. I was yeah. I was honestly right about quite a few things, but uh, the things I was right about was I knew Vision wasn't making it out. Mm-hmm. Like the Vision mm-hmm. as we knew him in the show. Yeah, I knew the right. kids weren't making it out because there has mm-hmm. to be something for Wanda to try to attain after the fact. Right. Look at this um, A student right here that we got. He knew everything. Oh, oh, he's, <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't, I didn't know everything. I didn't know everything. Yeah, no, yeah, because he had this big theory about, oh, this is where we're going to yeah, I had, a, yeah, I, I had a, yeah, I had a theory that there was yeah, how that goes. She had so much grief, <laughs> that, right? <laughs> that she was just gonna explode, and the hex was gonna cover the entire planet and create mutants. Mm-hmm. That's not what I thought theory. was gonna happen. Yeah, not a bad theory. But, but, okay, yeah, you know, well, I had right. Is, so. um, I knew Agnes. Agnes was a serious bad because it, it it didn't make no sense. It, I I thought that um, an older actor was gonna play. Um, What's the double name in the series? Mephisto. Yeah, I thought uh, Mephisto, I thought yeah. a, I thought an older actor was gonna play him in the season finale, but mm. Um, mm. besides that, I I had a feeling that they was messing with us with uh, Quicksilver. Yeah, you've been saying that the whole yeah. se- the whole time we've been reviewing this series. Yeah. I'm just like, nah, man, come on, it's X Men, bro. Yeah. Just get with it, get with the group. Yeah, because I, like, like, I was saying like, I was saying, there's, up, there's no way, <laughs> there's no way they're gonna do the X Men within the show. Some some big like that got to be in the. Uh, I just wanted it so badly, though. I just really wanted it so badly. Yeah, and that makes yeah. me wonder if they're gonna still bring him back as Quicksilver eventually. Yeah, because he's right. kind of synonymous with the role at this point. So, what yeah. if he's but, Jimmy's you know. witness and Ralph Boner's not his real name and he. He is from ah, the but right. he has memories. Ooh, we shall yeah. see. Ooh. And then part of me was thinking like they were probably using him as a cover up for Mephesto. Like that yeah. was still probably Mephesto somehow. Um, yeah. But still, that didn't pan out. So all my red tape was pretty much shredded. I was like, yeah. I mean, they could always <laughs> go back and retcon to like how Agnes found Wanda. Maybe she was mm-hmm. guided by an unseen hand. How she got a hold of the dark hold and how it ended up in Wanda's hands. And if that was some true grand yeah. design, right. I mean, you never know. You never. Know. You never know. And then with the with the fact that is it's dealing with the multiverse and it is so many different things that could possibly they could pull from and just be like yeah multiverse you know it's multiverse related so it makes sense somehow right. you know so it's like yeah right. no he's exactly. still, he can still could be Quicksilver yeah in this universe he's Quicksilver oh sweet yeah. come on whatever back. happens it's, it's not going to be sloppy it's going to be well no. thought out it's going to be tight because they so far they've been pretty conservative with how they're linking things and introducing things slower than I would mm. like but still they never sacrifice their story and that's right. the best they part don't. like this, mm-hmm. this and that's, show yeah. as, a, as a contained show Mwah. I love it. Make out with the show. Spicy <laughs> All right, so, oh, so, man. so, y'all thoughts on the first ended credit? What you think that's uh, leading up to? And oh, uh, yeah, uh, hanging out with Nick Fury, uh, probably. Yeah, oh, yeah, some yeah. Agents yeah. of Sword yeah. type shit. I think uh, yeah. mm-hmm. Nick Fury's going to take Wars? over Sword, and yeah. you know. Okay. A lot yeah. of space secret, action uh, going on. Secret, uh, secret invasion. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, secret invasion. Yeah, secret wars. Mm, yeah, secret invasion. Yeah. 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 Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah. secret invasion. Yeah. Now my I question, googled that like right. That would be really dope. Yeah. That would be really it dope. Be. If Monica's is, trying to like investigate these scrolls and everything. Did, did she say? Yeah. Did she say? Did she say he needs you or she needs you? Up he, there? He, he, he said. Oh, okay. He. So it's fair. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Watch it three times. She. He said. She said he. Okay. She said he. Um. The second. The second. Uh. A clip was what threw everybody like sent everybody in a wave because i i've never watched the credits all the way through till that far i just let, let it roll for this one episode because it was the last one and mm-hmm. i was like oh shit i'm glad i did that <laughs> i had no idea they were gonna I, literally, a second, I had to go back <laughs> second one because <laughs> i turned it off i had to go back because i saw youtube <laughs> oh second post set credit scene i was like what i ran upstairs to pay people <laughs> 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 i was like y'all could have yeah. told us something god hey <laughs> I was 10 years deep in the Marvel I knew there was going to be a second one yeah something like that I was like whoa that's just how they do I was surprised it wasn't the third the fact that she was practicing 
the same with the Dark World book and all that. And it's just like, man, she's really getting it. Um, yeah. She's really looking super strong now. And and she's uh, they said she's stronger than uh, Doctor Strange too, right? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Doctor yeah. Tra- Strange could not study while astral projecting unless mm-hmm. he was sleeping. She's over here no, making tea yeah. and yeah. astral projecting and yeah. studying. That's crazy. That's, that's and that's she's crazy. reading a highly that's corruptible, co- like very complicated, very dangerous book. Yeah, and she's just sitting there chilling mm-hmm. like it's a magazine. I'm like, yeah. okay, well, all right. yeah. She did the whole Bruce Banner you- move. At the end of home at the oh, end of right. the show. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. She's like hanging out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Ice. I love that I love that scene when she did when the when she did finally transform into Scarlet Witch and it was like all mm. these years, everyone uh, who doesn't watch Marvel. So... Oh, it's so damn tight. Yeah. I wanna wear it. I'm like, can I wear it? <laughs> <laughs> Let me throw that thing yeah. on. <laughs> Let me wear it. I'm the Scarlet Home Witch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all be Scarlet Witch for Daddy, Halloween. what are you doing? I'm the Scarlet Witch, baby. <laughs> I'm going to put a hex on you, baby. <laughs> baby, I'm going out. What are you doing? I'm hexing. I'm hexing. I can really love like AD with his I'm hands up. I am the Scarlet Witch. <laughs> Get your hands off me, you freak. <laughs> I'm Scarlet Witch, baby. Yeah. <laughs> but you can call me red <laughs> call me red right. for short <laughs> I dress this on fleek <laughs> yes but that scene that scene when she when she fully embraced her powers man it was the music behind in the background the scenery just everything like culminated just so much awesomeness you know yeah, that's, that's cool now that's we can cool. finally because we've been saying offside like oh that's Scarlet Witch that's Scarlet Witch but she's been Wanda this whole time to everybody else you know yeah. so for them to finally be like like it was kind of like remember um, Iron Man 1 when he's like I am Iron Man yeah yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. That was her Iron Man moment role. for sure. Yeah, that was yeah. her moment for sure. Yep. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Like, you don't need to tell me who I am, chick. Mm-hmm. I know who I am now. Yeah. I got and these the best. Rooms. The best superhero properties do that. God, do you remember that No Man's Land scene from Wonder Woman? I was yeah. like, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when, she, yeah. when she shed off her cloak and she's like, I'm, I'm running across this thing. Yeah. I was like, yes, mm-hmm. yes. I right. love it when people do that. Right. So mm-hmm. that was awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I can't and wait to that. see what Marvel has in store because all these dope ass moments that we've gotten over the years. Yeah. Like and I think back to I think back to Endgame with Captain America finally picking up Thor's hammer and that just being like the big. Oh, everyone oh, knew. I still something. get chill. So I, I yo, I just yeah, got goosebumps when you mentioned on your dude. left. <laughs> just, yeah, just, yeah. Like I can't oh wait God. for ten years from now. Hopefully, we're here to see it. Yeah. Whatever they come out with next, like right. oh man, it's gonna, it's, yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be great. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Yeah. It's got me super pumped for Falcon and Winter Soldier because like I'm like, yeah. yo, mm-hmm. let's see what they do with this now. Like right. it's so mm-hmm. much awesomeness ahead, so yeah. much. Mm-hmm. And I have people at work that's like, I don't know what the big deal is in Wanda. But have you watched any comic book movies? No, then right. that's why your life sucks. <laughs> Move. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I, I love how I love how all the haters that dropped it after episode two, yeah, are like eating their words now. Yeah. I'm like, why are yeah. you guys dropping it? got seven more episodes you gotta give it some time dude no (laughs) lie though i was i was slightly borderline on one of those people early on in episode two and i told i remember telling g i was like bro this shit need to start making sense for me because because i i I know there's an underlining tone of sadness and something more but i'm like it's a little bit of a drag those first three episodes it's a mystery it's it's a it's a slow burn mystery but then once and i tell people this now i'm like once you get to episode four it blows up and it's Starts like really the momentum is really going in a good direction afterwards. Yeah. That's but true. Yeah. but then I but then when the time you get to episode four, you kind of understand why the slow burn for the first three. And I was like, oh, okay, it, it makes it it makes it uh, sit better on the stomach. Like, right. okay, good. Yeah, understand. yeah. If, if you don't have like a healthy fandom or appreciation for the history of TV, especially sitcoms, I'm talking going mm-hmm. all the way back to Dick Van Dyke, I Love Lucy, Bewitched, going up to Brady Bunch, you know. And then, you know, as they go up through the years, Roseanne and and, and family ties or whatever, it, it kind of makes sense. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. But mm-hmm. man, when they tie it all together and you get her history and you see like why she, why that's what popped into her mind and why that manifests and why it tie, it's tied to such good feelings for her. It made it all the much more emotional that that's where she went. You know? Yeah. 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 These are runes, Wanda. These are runes, baby. <laughs> is, is that your Scarlet Witch voice? <laughs> no, that's why yeah, that's that's Agatha Harkness. Yeah, These are runes, baby. Hey, <laughs> that's, that's a problem. Look at your pecs. 
<laughs> oh my well, god! What do y'all think Vision went? Yeah, oh, we went to find um, himself. <laughs> yeah, I think he fucked. He, uh, he fucked I off. Went to, <laughs> he went to. Work. He's working part time at he McDonald's. Said, He's figuring his life right, out. Said, you know. He said, "I'm Vision." Bye. <laughs> he said, "Okay, Bye. I got my answer. I'm out." <laughs> What are you doing? You're supposed to still be here. <laughs> right. No, I, I think he's, he's definitely going to. Sh- I think he's going to show up in Multiversal Madness, too. Oh, yeah. He has yeah. to. Yeah. He yeah. might be one of those pop up guys that come up in any random movie that just. Oh, snap. It's White Vision. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. You, know, he might you guys be, needed help. He might be that classic robotic vision that has all of Vision's memories, but none of his soul. Right, like mm, the human right. part of him that's yeah. in, inside Wanda that comes from the Mind Stone. Mm, All right. he has is data. So I think he'll be a good guy, or I think he'll make rational decisions. But I think he's going to be robotic until he gets a chance to actually fuse back up with Vision, which I think is going to come right. eventually. Yeah. yeah. So. And yeah, I, I want to like just it. give it up for Paul. I want to give it up for Paul Bettany because the way he was acting as White oh, yeah. Vision, I was like, Oh, yeah, he is killing it. Because he, yeah. he legit yeah, was acting like a different character, different version of the same. Character and it was, it was even his face was contorted a different way. It was, yeah, it was kind of yeah. impressive. Yeah, but throughout throughout the whole throughout the whole of this series, he, he has really put on some brilliant acting because yeah. I've never mm-hmm. like we've never really seen Vision in this way. You know, like mm-hmm. acting comical throughout the sitcoms, and then now like you know the, what the hell's going on? He's all like detective mode, and, and like he had so many different layers to his character this whole season. Mm-hmm. And so many different hairstyles. <laughs> yes, yeah. so, a lot of hairstyles. Yeah. So before before we uh, finish it wrapped up, what was your favorite like draw like best moment of this series? Uh, go ahead, Mike. I, I gotta think about it. Oh, okay, okay. All right, on the spot. Um, I love the Agatha reveal. The Agatha All Along song was great. Uh, you can tell Catherine Hahn was having a fucking ball while she was doing it. <laughs> Just all the mugging at the camera. Mm-hmm. I, I really loved when Vision finally was like, no, you're not turning on the credits. We're going to talk about this right now. And then Wanda <laughs> yeah. and Vision like say it with their chest. And they're just like, say it with the chest. And <laughs> they fly Stop up. I'm like, oh, it's me. about to get domestic in here. <laughs> and, and Aww. Just the emotion, and then right after that, the reveal uh, when Evan Peters shows up. I mean, that was one of those whoa! And for a whole week, my mind was just going all over the yeah, place. Yeah. I loved it, even if it was a red yeah. herring. Yeah, mm. yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go with the uh, the end credits, talking through the end credits thing as well, because when yeah. they both floated up in the when they both floated up there, he's like, "Stop lying to me!" <laughs> and she's like, "You better back the fuck up, man." <laughs> it's about to I don't so remember. Long. I'm Scared. <laughs> Civil War Part you don't Two. Know it. You don't remember <laughs> right. what happened. Yeah. You don't know it, and I don't remember it. But I brought you in this world. <laughs> so so watch out. She throws cars out. at people. She will throw yeah. cars. Yeah. Right. She's a great car thrower. That should be a new thing at the Olympics. Mm-hmm. Car yep. throwing, sponsored mm-hmm. by yeah, Scarlet yeah. Witch. Flick of the wrist. <laughs> G, the what's your favorite moment? Uh, G, what's your favorite? Moment? My favorite moment was uh, Monica Rambo getting her abilities going. Yeah. Through. Yeah. 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 Hex. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. That's I'd say that I'd say that be that one for me and also the Evan Peters thing that this had us all tripping out for the, like yeah. intensely for that whole week. Yeah. You're not like, the boss oh, of me shit. now. <laughs> <laughs> Life is <laughs> unfair. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I love All right. So we'll, uh, I, think, I think that we can wrap it up there on the uh, WandaVision talk. We can wrap it up. We're good there. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're going to call it on that. Thank you. Right well, thank you, WandaVision. We're going to miss you. We're going to miss you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't you cry, Devin. Falky and Winter. Falky and Winter coming soon. <laughs> Falky and Winnie. Falky and Winnie. Falky and Winnie. Falky and Winnie. Falky. <laughs> Sounds like the chibi, the the chibi s- version. <laughs> right, right. Version Winnie, the, the, <laughs> Winnie the soldier. Oh, oh. Falcon, Winnie the soldier. Falcon in the winter. Oh my god, that is hilarious. <laughs> Winnie the Falcon at winter. Okay. <laughs> All right, moving on here. We gotta keep, keep on track. So uh, we we did. I think it was MC that that shared this with us uh, during the week. Uh, the gamer motivation profiles. So we all took a 
It was like a survey kind of figure out a very like in-depth five, seven minutes survey about what's your gamer like identity, right? So we all took it. Do um, you guys want to go first in terms of like what did what did your results come as? What kind of gamer are you? Sure. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Uh, I, I can start it off. Uh, I am the bounty hunter. Mm. High octane solo world exploration. Oh, shit. I am yeah. the dog. Bounty right. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got bounty hunters <laughs> bounty hunters do? are solo action oriented explorers who want game who want game worlds that they can make their own through customization and discovery they also enjoy power progression and unleashing mayhem oh shit I love it <laughs> yeah <laughs> now the only thing like- about this that was kind of off was the customization thing because I really don't care that much about customization but they were throwing so many questions about customization at me I was like sometimes I guess <laughs> 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 You're yeah. asking too many questions, honey. <laughs> I think I, I think he's still wearing this Scarlet Witch dress. It's not like he's still wearing yeah. it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look at the wrist. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but yeah, it's, nice. it's true. Man, I, I am Sweet. very single player oriented. Mm-hmm. So okay. Yeah. okay, awesome. All right, MC, what's yours? All right, so I had like a, a dual type. I'm a gardener slash gladiator. Ooh. And uh, they said primary, my dominant player type is gardener. And gardeners are looking for quiet, relaxing task completion. They enjoy accessible gameplay that focuses on completing levels and quests, collecting stars and trophies, and collecting collectibles. Ooh. And I have a, I have a, a general lean towards my secondary player type, the gladiator. Gladiators are competitive gamers who are more likely to identify as hardcore. They want games to engage them using a broad spectrum of features, and they are looking for an epic, skill-based experience in the games they play. Hence, Mm. me playing Ghost of Tsushima on lethal. (laughs) Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. And collecting yes. all of the haikus. The yeah. gladiator that you are, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that sucked. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, that's awesome. <laughs> yes. Um, Samurai's sweet, so milkshake. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I was gonna do a I was gonna do a haiku. Samurai's milkshake brings all the Mongols to the yard. Honor Dosha! 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 I'm glad, you, uh, I'm glad you lad in there with Gladiator because that's my profile all around. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm just straight Gladiator. Okay. I didn't yeah. have a, um, a thing, so I, I have the same description as you. But yes, that comes from me. I'm, you said Ghost of Tsushima on the hard mode. I'm God of War on the hardest mode. I play that mode. I played hardest mode of God of War for every Hell one. Of yeah. Them. Mm. And, um, mm. and <laughs> especially being that freaking queen at the end. Yeah. I love it. Yo, so, yeah. That Valkyrie, yeah. Yeah, man. That bitch. She, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. She'll put 25 you times I counted on trying to kill that chick on the hardest <laughs> mode, man. Jesus. I Christ. believe it. Yeah. I believe but, it. you know, yeah. But I love to stay engaged like that. I love the experience, the, the difficulty, and just, you know, it has to keep me. It ha- The intensity has to keep up. Like, that's why I, I mm. really liked. Um, Last of Us 2 as well. The intensity of that game is freaking crazy. Yeah, um, mental yeah. trip. I was like, shit, this is intense. <laughs> but I'm loving it. I don't know why I keep coming back. Well, yeah, because I love it. <laughs> so now I I'm surprised GP hasn't put you on for Resident Evil 3, man. That'll be intense. That nemesis coming after you. Yeah, he's he, mm. AD, not a uh, Resident that. Evil fan, though. Yeah, I gotta get you know into what? it. I gotta... Yeah. I, I think it's a Same good jump here. in point. You know what I mean? Like you're, I mean, you don't need to know much. You're yeah. a cop mm-hmm. trying to escape a city mm-hmm. that's full of zombies. That's about to be bombed by a nuclear warhead. You Basically. Know? Yeah. And there's a giant guy that's like stars. And he wants to kill you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's following that's you. Need to know. Follow you out through, holes, out through the whole series. Yeah. Stars. So, yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. No, it's, I, I think you would enjoy it just based on what you just said. I mm-hmm. think you need to mm-hmm. please because Resident Evil three is if anything, if not hard. <laughs> Yeah. All right, all right. You're tickling my gladiator side here. I don't know if I should right. use the word tickling and gladiator in the same sentence. It doesn't uh, really match up well. Are you not just Winnie, Winnie, you're tickly. It's okay. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I hope that wears off because I don't want to go into that series thinking about Falky and Winnie. <laughs> Using a whole God. shield to tickle people. Oh, uh, <laughs> gee, okay. <laughs> but, uh, okay, I'm a um, bard slash gardener since uh, I think you have. Bard, right? Uh, MC, 
I had Gardner. Oh yeah, Gardner. Gardner. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, my primary was Bard, and he's um, a team player who wants to chat and interact with other players in games worlds that are rich with lore, stories, discovery, and customization. For them, the game is a grand story that emerges from a community of players. Wow. Yeah. Bard yes. slash Gardner. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. So I guess we're all in agreement that these pretty much are like it was pretty much like ninety eight percent or higher accurate. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty yeah, spot right. on for me. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. It was spot on on my end. I like the little the little uh, chart too that like tells you like eight seventy eight percent action, ninety three percent social. Yeah. I was like, wow, this shit is this is great. <laughs> like yeah. I can tell mm-hmm. you, gamer your gamer soul made it as well. <laughs> Who's your gamer? Yeah, soul I don't know if you looked into it any <laughs> further, but this also does help uh, recommend games for you based on your profile and the more games that you add to your favorite games list the more accurate the recommendations become wow right i did not so, see that yeah. yeah a little tool to help you see figure out what you want to play next if you can't decide so i bet you resident evil 3 is on that thing i'm like oh yeah it's probably probably is, impressive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. all right sweet so uh yeah and if folks listening in if you want go check it out uh tell us what i think we posted it up on the on our socials right yeah yep. we posted it up on facebook and things so tell us what your gamer profile is we want to know we want to hear back from you Okay. Oh wait, how the back? Um, Kusik's actually uh, sent something over. He's also a gladiator. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kusik's got gladiator, and then Ace, uh, another one of our guests here. He got what was the one he got? Let me pull it up real quick. He was a was he bard as well? Yeah, he was bard. There you go. Okay. He was bard. Okay. Sweet. I love this thing. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is awesome. I want to go play now. Huh? All right. So speaking about gamers, we're going to move on here um, oh, yeah. in keeping it in gamer talk with the gamer heads here. Uh, yeah. So with the we wanted, we asked this question. We were talking about the other day. We want to know what your thoughts are on it. Video games. We love them. We love where the graphics are with video games right now. Do you think there is a need for video game graphics? Just speaking about graphics, do you think there's a need for it to get to be uh, upgraded from where they are now? Or are they sufficient enough for you as a gamer? Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Take it away. I guys. think that the, yeah, the jump between uh, generations is getting so small now. That's kind of like there. I don't feel there's a need to go any higher. Like we're already seeing pores on people's faces. We're seeing the individual follicles of hair. Like the the next step logically is photorealism, and I think that would be too damn much. Because mm-hmm. like I already live real life. I want to see some shit that don't look <laughs> that real. <laughs> you know what right. I mean? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and I think uh I, honestly graphics are nice and everything but it really all comes down to gameplay if you don't have strong gameplay graphics mm-hmm. mean absolutely nothing right so if the last of us 2 had shit for gameplay i'd just be like wow this looks pretty but i don't want to play it so right. i'm not going to mm-hmm. enjoy all mm-hmm. of the beautiful set pieces and scenery that it has to offer mm-hmm. that's my take mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you just really cause an anthem in here? What the hell's wrong with you? (laughs) No, no, I said anthem, not anthrax. (laughs) Both of them bad. Both of them bad. Both of them bad. Anthem dead. So both of them canceled. Yeah. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. (laughs) Your thoughts there, uh, MC? I think graphics is a pretty broad term. And it can mean a lot of different things. You, you think about the jump in graphics also at, at, you know, we start to develop engines and systems where we can make these bigger games faster with less manpower at a lower cost with less man hours. That's positive. You think about being able to really push the limits as far as the number of things that can happen on screen. Right now we're loading from solid straight state drives. So you're going from exteriors to interiors almost in an instant. And that to me feels very next gen. I want to see a big city the size of a Grand Theft Auto map where all the buildings are destructible, where everything Ooh. is modeled inside. It didn't take years to make, you know? Right. I think we have a ways to go, but maybe not in the visual leap that we're used mm. to. And I think that it can play a big part in games, but like, you know, Merkman alluded to, that's not really the main focus because right now and for a number of years maybe even all the way back to Atari days to be honest we've always had the tools to make games that are going to fascinate and um, I guess 
excite people to want to play and experience them and to make those experiences. You, it's just about working effectively with the tools you have. So I think graphics are going to continue to push, maybe not in the most obvious of ways, but what really matters, it does just come down to the gameplay. That's what the main focus should be. Right. That's what it should be going for, just gameplay wise. Right. Fully agree. I, I like both of your points. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm like right bouncing between both of you guys right now. Mm-hmm. That's that's my that's yeah. my take. G, what do you think? Before we I, move on, I think that um, I think they can. Uh, it could be advanced just a little bit. Not. Over. You still want more? You want more want sweat coming little, out of the skin? I want a little bit more. I want a little bit more because because um, as far as like you know, these current games still has these major glitches that should not be happening. So <laughs> <laughs> should not Cyber be happening. Punk. At all. <laughs> Cyber, <laughs> Cyber <laughs> punk. Yeah. Oh, so God. so once you when you see those glitches, you'd be like, well, damn, these graphics just suck. So mm-hmm. so basically. Um, they need to understand their, their current consoles and how far they can push it rather than just guessing, oh, I think this mm. can handle it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So Put in the more work. Yeah, put in the more work as far as the mechanics of it all. Okay. But still keep the current graphics. Don't go back. That's it. Just keep going forward. Right. Yeah, because right. I was shocked when I saw some of that cyberpunk stuff. I was like, God dang. I was, yeah, I think I was watching um, MC stream. And I was like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> yeah, that thing it's, crashed on me, I think, almost every single episode. Sometimes yeah, multiple times like, an episode. <laughs> it's 2021. I'm like, what the hell is How yeah. is it still happening how is it still possible but yeah, yeah I'm, I'm all for the gameplay now like i'm more like the graphics is good enough for me i'm i'm solid there you guys don't have to do anything else i don't need to see the waft of my hair <laughs> you know the hair follicles <laughs> in the breeze i'm good there man just give me the best intense game uh gameplay that i could get because you know gladiators like myself <laughs> i like it <laughs> i want my gameplay damn it another Another. <laughs> so just focus we, we on need that. To, we need to be able to smell the shit next. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch his sniff your controller. Your nose. <laughs> Scratch and sniff your controller. <laughs> yes. So, all right, good stuff there. And like we said, we posted this up on uh, our. Did we question this? Yeah, we threw this question up. As yeah, well. we threw it up. Let us know what you guys thinking. Where do you uh, stand here on graphics? Mm-hmm. Um, moving on here, we got to keep this moving. Uh, Twenty-one years. Twenty-one. Twenty-one years ago, PS2 debuted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What is your best mm-hmm. memory of the PS2? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh man, There's we so all talked about our, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say we Ooh, talked about wow. our PS2 memories not too long ago on our show. Um, mm. I can talk about when I was in high school when the PS2 first came out. <clears throat> I remember I was in the KB Toys mm-hmm. and I was with my KB mom. Toys. Wow, KB Toys, Hell baby. Yeah. And they had. I mean, Go this back. is back. You know, when it first came out and it wasn't guaranteed you were gonna find one in stock. And they had a $500 PS2 that came with three games. You got Tekken Tag Tournament, Dynasty Warriors 2, and SSX. Mm. My mom looked at me and she's like, look, <clears throat> here's the deal. You can either get this PS2 or you can get a car. <laughs> and I was like, well, I already have a girlfriend and I got a bus ticket. So give me that PS2. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't regret that choice. I never looked back. And uh, Dynasty, that started actually my love affair with Warriors games. Dynasty Warriors 2 blew my mind. You go back mm, and yeah. play it now and the draw distance is terrible and it's really slow. But it was the coolest thing I had ever seen at the time. <laughs> and mm, Those are revolutionary. Um, yeah, it was. It was. And I think about what I call the four horsemen of the PS2, the, the games that really kind of, I think, stuck out to me as my the, the best of that system. Mm-hmm. Uh, Devil May Cry, mm-hmm. Metal Gear mm-hmm. Solid 2, mm-hmm. Final Fantasy X, mm-hmm. Grand Theft mm-hmm. Auto 3. Those are the ones that went, <laughs> well, 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 this is appreciative possible. grunts. Saying the truth. Preaching the truth. Yeah. Preaching the truth. Go on. Go on. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm You're telling in the you, ring Grant, with the four horsemen. <laughs> yeah, those are the four horsemen, man. Grand Theft Auto 3, Final Fantasy X, Devil May Cry, MGS2. Those showed me mm. what the PS2 was capable of. And right. the sky was the limit from that point. I, it's one of my favorite systems of all time. Yeah. So, for a reason. Yeah. 
Yeah. Derek? Uh, for, me, for me, I'm just going to... I don't know if I told the story of how I got my PS2, but I was in middle school. And at the time, like, I mean, I don't come from a super well-off family. I mean, we did... They did all right. But uh, I was in middle school, and there was this after-school program where if you stayed every day after school and participated, you would get $80 at the end of it. I think it was like mm-hmm. a month or two long. And my mom was like, if you do this program... And you get this eighty dollars. I will pay for the rest of the PS2. And I was like, okay, bet. I'm here every day after school, taking a late bus home, baby. And <laughs> I finally got it. And the first game that I got was Tekken Tag Tournament Two. I bought it off of a buddy from school for ten dollars. And now that I think back to it, it was probably hot, but. That is neither near here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> and I just remember putting it in and just hearing the dun yeah that oh my god Tekken Tag Tournament is one of the greatest fighting games ever made don't that bowling game though like oh my god oh Tekken bowl mode are you kidding me get out of here like it took it took it took Tekken ball mode and made it Tekken bowl mode okay like that, like all of the hey, hot shit shaped did you guys, <laughs> yeah, I didn't did jump into Tekken play, uh, back then. No. Oh my god, Tekken Bowl was so great. I hate that in Tekken Seven, it's fucking DLC. Mm-hmm. So you have to pay for the bowling. I know, and I wanted to <laughs> pay for it so bad, but I, I can't bring myself to do it. But Free definitely Tekken Tag Tournament Two. Mm. And uh, Final Fantasy X, Kingdom Hearts 2, Devil May Cry 3. Like, I can go on and on and on. PS2 is, like Mike said, probably my favorite system of it's all time. legendary. Well. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it is yeah. It is pretty badass. Uh, G, yeah. do you have a memory of your PS2 uh, you want to share? Not quite of a memory of me first getting one. Probably a Christmas mm-hmm. time type of deal. But I do know the games I was playing. I know I was playing, I was hardcore on... Resident Evil 4 I think Mm -hmm. Resident Evil 4 was one of those games where you just play over and over again that's like one of Mm -hmm. my first games I was just constantly playing over and over again Mm -hmm. Um, Resident Evil 4 um, God of War the first God of War game Um, uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas that's another game oh, I was yeah. just constantly that was playing. Took a day off of work for that. Oh one. shit! Yeah, Here we yeah. go again. Yeah, that was a good one. Just, <laughs> that was just, a good one. Just cruising <laughs> around. What you had to do was fall the damn train, <laughs> CJ. 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 Let me get. Let me get a hey, number five. Let me tell y'all. The, hey, 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 hey! Number I was just about to. Let me blow your mind with something. He knew what was going down, and he was ordering all that food to keep them away from the block. Yeah. Big yeah. smoke yeah. conspiracy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I believe wow. too. He was yeah. stalling for time. Big yeah. smoke. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is the biggest backstab mm-hmm. in video game history. I'm sorry. I know, right? The betrayal is, yeah. of Big more Smoke. More than uh more than uh what's his name from Modern Warfare 2, like Big yeah. Smoke was fucking <laughs> Yeah. Like so Ryder was a weasel. Those are your games, I knew he was, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that um also also um I think you MC said already, uh Devil May Cry, the first one. The first one, yeah. yeah Devil May Cry was cool. May Cry. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. Beautiful memories here. I remember mine, <laughs> I was, mine came out of like, I was just pissed. Because <laughs> like, there was a strict like video game uh, against video games in my house. Mm-hmm. You know? Oh, I'm like, this no. is bullcrap, man. Mm-hmm. I was like, this is bullcrap. I, I, I need to oh, be in on the fun. Them. You know? I was like, yeah. my, yo, my people's got them, man. This is this is bullshit. <laughs> and I was working at, uh, I was working at uh, Toys R Us at the time and I stacked oh. up. I, was sta- I stacked up some paper and I was like, look, I got this, I got this discount. It's going down tonight. I don't give a shit. So I, I left. <laughs> I, I, like, left the house and, like, my brothers were looking at me. They're like, well, where are you going? I left the house, right? And if you ask them, gee, you, you, they'll tell you the same exact story. Mm-hmm. I left. When I came back, I spent about, like, close to eight 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 fifty that night. Came back, eight fifty, dropped it. I unloaded the box. I was like, we are gameless no more. And I dropped it right <laughs> in the front. And I, I freaked out. He is, I was like, yo, I, I called I him just like, I was like, hero, brothers, hero, gather hero. around. Gather around. They're like, what the fuck did you do? I'm like, I got PS2, God of War 1 and 2, and Fight Night, and the Madden. We are playing the, all of these shits right now. 
Wow. <laughs> right what is it? Now. Is it drugs? <laughs> it's <better than> drugs. <laughs> $850 worth of this good meth, baby. Yeah, <laughs> right. get it Mainline in. these PS2 graphics right now. <laughs> right now. And then and then like I remember I remember my mom looked over when she saw what I was doing. I like, I bought this. My money. <laughs> and she had no defense. I was just like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember yeah, when I used to go and touch something when I was a kid and he was like, ah, <laughs> this, is, this is that for you, mama. Ah, this is that. I don't hear it. And I was like, don't even worry about it. It's my money. Go back upstairs. I got this. And that was my best And she's like, (laughs) and she's like, but what about the rent, baby? I was like, I can throw 200 in that too. Here. (laughs) Meanwhile, you got an eviction notice on the door. (laughs) (laughs) All in that Toys R Us. I I try to compensate with some Nerf guns. Look, I got these Nerf guns on 10%. Like, (laughs) no food. No food in the fridge, but I sure got this PS. (laughs) (laughs) yes but thoroughly enjoy i love the hell out of fight night on that one though fight night on that was beautiful Mm -hmm. just to construct Mm -hmm. your own boxer i had so Mm -hmm. much fun on that man so much stress relief on haymaking people it was the Mm. best oh man nothing in the world that feels better than like landing a clean haymaker and fighting (gasps) oh Oh, yeah yeah just (laughs) impact oh god love it oh how about being hit by a haymaker you gotta be pushing your two joysticks to the middle to get yourself back up no 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 (laughs) don't die don't (laughs) pay don't pay oh my god and we're like, yo, hold this You're one toy. Like, hold this. <laughs> like Kevin Hart. Like, we got- no, 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 no. Get up. No, 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 no. Kevin, did he just hit me twice? <laughs> no, he, he wasn't ready. ready. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I, I love the hell out of my PS2. It, it, that one actually hurt when I had to move and upgrade. I was like, oh, man, but this this one hit home. That that system hits home for many. Um, mm. But yes, beautiful, beautiful stuff all around. Thank you guys for sharing. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm just gonna pause right here. I just love when these guys come on. I just oh, love yeah. talking with these yeah. guys. Just yeah. you guys bring the flavor. Fun man. talks, fun jokes. Hey, all thanks. Around. Same here, man. Thank you. Just, yeah, just yeah. great. All right, so we're yeah. coming. We're winding down here in the bottom half of our uh, show. Now we're gonna jump yeah. up and pull it back for the first time this year. I don't know how this happened. Yeah. Put, Put your hands in the air. Woo! That feel good to say. I've been saying that so long. I'm gonna do it one more time. Put your hands in the air. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay, alright, alright. Damn it! Can we stop? That's enough! I can't breathe! He's about to go to church on him. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. So, so what, are we, what are we putting our faces into? Put your face! God damn it! Why is he back? Put your face! Why is he back? Put your face. I say, I say, I say, I put your face in Jesus. Put your face in the Lord. Jesus. Why? Why? Yes, sister. Go ahead, baby. Lord. God knows your pain, baby. <laughs> Y'all need to be like Sister Mary Clarence. (laughs) (laughs) She's not afraid to let you know Uh, what God she (laughs) serves. Church man, thank you. Thank you. Love you better believe <laughs> to put your face. In. Okay, <laughs> G, G, can you just say what the hell you've been putting your face into this week? Okay. Come on. All right. Okay. Put my face um, in Jesus. Put your face in Oh my god! Thank you! Thank you! Are All we right. good? We good, we good. Yeah, we're okay. good. We're good. <laughs> Dang it. Oh man. Mama, they're not playing fair, mama! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Every five minutes of interruption, that's how we gotta do the show! <laughs> 
I swear, I'm holding back so much. I'm trying. I really am oh, trying to be. Yeah. I swear to God, like I know, I know. We're like, I know we're like the are. best guests, but also the That's worst true. guests. I'm oh sorry. Oh my goodness! No, you guys are you guys are great all around. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, G, what are you okay. putting I'm your just, face in? Oh, okay. It's been a while. I get it. I get okay. it. I'm going to put my face. I'm going to put my face in. Everybody, Derek, mute your mic. Mute it right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. 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 I'm gone. I'm gone. Go ahead, <laughs> okay. All right. I'll put my face in um the, the, the West End Hotel. I um recently celebrated the anniversary with my wife, mm. and the West End was happy anniversary. Um, thank you. Thank you. I had um we had went to the West End Hotel and it was a it was a great hotel, man. It was mm. those type of hotels where it felt like it was a staycation first off. And mm-hmm. um, it was the, one of those hotel where it felt like you went actually traveled somewhere, but you didn't. Oh, so nice. You gotta love yeah. those. Love that. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I, I got a nice. question. Did you hit the West End and get a best friend, though? Uh, oh, shit. Nope. How about you hit the West End and get a best friend? The West End and get a best friend. Oh, well. <laughs> He's like, I went with my best friend. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's all I was saying. That's what I'm saying. the romantic thing. I went with my best friend. West End with my best friend. West End with my best friend. All right. Yeah, anything else you put your face online. in? It looked nice. Yeah. Um. What's the name mm-hmm. of that? Cheesecake Factory. Mm-hmm. Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Cheesecake, <laughs> Factory. <laughs> Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory. We went to Cheesecake Factory and uh, mm-hmm. it was pretty oh, good. Oh really man. Good. Cheesecake Love Cheesecake Mac and Cheeseburger. Yeah. 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 Quesadillas. What are we talking about? Yeah. Oh lord. Yeah. Yes. Those yeah. margaritas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, take it. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll go next. <laughs> Put my face <laughs> in something. Uh, wait, G. You, you forgot the the thing, man. When you're done, you gotta say it. Oh, I put my face in this. Thank you. Jeez. We're yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I was, I was so much. I got <laughs> exhausted from yeah. the church. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. The, the church of Derek yeah. over there. <laughs> the <laughs> All right. This week, my jaws I am, are done. <laughs> <laughs> this week, I am putting my face in uh, these turkey empanadas that my wife made. Mm. Oh, but, well, my wife and her sisters made them. Oh, my God. They came over, dropped these turkey empanadas on us. Uh, they made this apple chutney to go with it as well. It's like a spicy apple chutney thingy. I put that on top and drizzle some honey on it. Oh my god, I put my face in that! <laughs> it was so good. It was so damn good. And uh, she also, I'm also putting my face in something else. She just whipped up this uh, feta cheese recipe with like tomatoes, uh, spinach, and baked it with like a lot of um, it's like it's like a keto dish with chata and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna cut on the carbs too. I'm still, in, I'm still trying to cut down on my carb intake. Oh. So uh, yeah, I'm putting my face <laughs> Take it away, <laughs> MC. What you doing? Uh, well, you know what? You know, uh, take this opportunity to pitch a YouTube channel to your listeners. So, you know, this is gaming themed. I come from a gaming podcast. So mm-hmm. for those who don't already follow him, one of my favorite gaming YouTubers, actually, Derek and my both, we, we really like this guy. His name is Video Game Donkey. Have you guys ever seen his stuff? Video Game Donkey? No, I haven't heard of him. Nope. Okay, oh, so really? it's, it's oh, Donkey, yeah. D-U-N-K-E-Y, Video Game Donkey, all mm-hmm. one word. Mm-hmm. He's been making videos for a really long time. They're cut together, edited really well. They're super funny. Some of the best videos I've seen him do are like videos where he's just screwing around in Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain or The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Um, he he does reviews that are a little bit more on the serious side but a lot of times he's just playing through games and being just stupid (laughs) probably some of the funniest the funniest video game video gamer YouTube th- videos that you'll see. A lot of stuff he does mm. with Dark Souls is really good. So uh, I, I would uh, I'd put my face in there mm-hmm. as far as that, that show goes. In fact, oh. every time one of his episodes comes up on YouTube, my face in it, just all up in it, <laughs> all up in it. Don't miss a video. His face is it. on it. Yeah, six point six million subscribers. Wow, it's a lot. He really Dunk is. <laughs> even, 
he recently like he's one of those guys that'll take a while to make a decent video but he recently mm. kind of pointed out that the most popular youtubers are the ones that make the most money are the ones that upload bullshit videos every single day mm, so like right. for a period of a couple of weeks he was like okay what we're gonna have is we're gonna have drama mondays i'm gonna talk about the drama <laughs> in the video game industry we're gonna have minecraft tuesdays okay <laughs> among us wednesdays then we're gonna have minecraft thursdays okay wow. <laughs> and he actually stuck to it and then put out like these little two three minute shitty videos for a couple weeks and they got tons of views (laughs) he kind of proved that like you can put in a lot of low effort and be successful and then he kind of went back to his old model but i just love the fact that he exposed that for the people that like him that work really hard so go out there and support him he could use more subscribers he works hard oh hell yeah you might even try to get him on the podcast let's do that (laughs) sweet uh anything else you you put your face in our way (laughs) oh hell yeah oh we we share (laughs) guests there folks oh yeah 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 yeah, we will share share guests guests. (laughs) with the quickness Oh yeah, pass them around. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Derek, you got anything you put in your face in? Yeah, uh, something. That, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, oh, <laughs> I just feel like I can't go on and on. I got a shit on. Don't 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 all up in it. <laughs> and when you put your face in it, uh, you know that God has something for your face. <laughs> oh, that don't sound good. Let's, Y'all don't uh, me. Let's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what did he tell you to put your face into, Derek? Uh, he told me to not necessarily put my face in something, but to keep my face in something. And that, oh God. And so, and <laughs> God told me to do it. God told me to do it, baby. I had to keep my face in it. Uh, oh, that God. would be in, <laughs> on God, baby. On God. <laughs> That'd be a anime by the name of, and you guys are very familiar with it, Jujutsu Ooh. Kaisen. Oh. I put my face in this every Friday. Oh. It's the one thing that I look forward to more than WandaVision. Mm. And I may have talked about it before, and if I have, I'm sorry, but it's just so much heat. Every single episode is fire. I, it's I, if you're if you're an anime, if you love anime at all, or if mm. you're in the least bit interested in action oriented anime, you need to check out Jujutsu Kaisen. The most mm-hmm. recent episode. I thought was going to be a filler episode, mm-hmm. but it was not. It's and not. No, it's not. Mm-mm. It's not filler. Mm-mm. Okay, G, we need to hurry up. That- I gotta go watch this shit right now. Yeah, the way because all thrillers, baby. Like, yeah, because they they show in the preview them playing baseball. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, it's gonna be filler. It's not. Uh-huh. Filler. It is no. absolutely not. Because you told me that on Facebook, you said the next one's gonna I be did, filler. I did. I did. And I was like, I said Aw. it looks like it's gonna be filler <laughs> because that's what I've learned to expect from any uh, action anime that's mm-hmm. they're playing sports one episode or. Going to the beach, another episode. Right. That's gonna be filler. Yeah, I'm but looking at you, Bleach, and it's great. <laughs> it was and, more and about the, uh, trusting a certain character, right? For that episode, right? And yeah, and the comedy is just on point, and the stuff that <laughs> the stuff that they do with Yuji and Toto is it's, it's, it's gold. It's, it's straight gold. You know, they were going through their their best oh, friend yeah. phase, yeah. and then yeah. how Yuji reacts to it after the fact, after all the fighting is done, is just funny. So right. mm-hmm. I'm loving it. Mm-hmm. Jujutsu Kaisen. Mm-hmm. Uh, the ending, the opening is a bop. The ending is a bop. My daughter sings the ending to me every like almost every day. She's like. It's so good. It sings so the whole good. thing. I'm like, my you daughter is Japanese. <laughs> oh, I have. I have. Yeah. <laughs> I have. It. Yeah. She, hit she's singing, hit us, singing Black Clover, like everything. Yeah. Hit us off with the line. Yeah. Hit us off with the pitch, yo. No. Uh, <clears throat> I'll put my face in it. Brother. 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 Best friend. Best friend. <laughs> oh, my God. My, yes. Michael, you got to watch it. So you can be in there. Best of friend. <laughs> That is good stuff. All right, so that is That's there for yeah. put your face in. Oh my goodness, G, we need to slow it down yes. one more time. Yes. It is time again for positive chat. Damn it, G. What we got this right? Got here. Go here. Go here. Go. It's pretty simple, right here. A truly happy person is one who can enjoy the scenery while on detour. Mm. I'll say that one again. Mm -hmm. A truly happy person 
is one who can enjoy the scenery while on a detour. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yes. Yes. My, yes. Drop yes. vision Thank type you. gel. That was, mm-hmm. Yeah, that was vision right there. That was the ship. That was yep. the ship of Theseus right there. Yes. Mm-hmm. That was mm-hmm. positive chakra. Thank you. Thank you, G. Yes. yes. Wow. Yes. All right. So uh, that was positive chakra. We're going to do a few yell outs before we head out, G. Yeah. You got any yell outs before we dip? Uh. Dang, do I have any yell outs before I head out? Oh, shout out to uh, Player Two at the end of the podcast for coming on again. Ooh. As <laughs> always. Ooh, 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 player Two. Player Two at the end of the podcast. Player Two. I got. I'm kind of gonna. I'm kind of gonna piggyback off of that yell out right now. <laughs> I'm gonna piggyback off of that one. Thank you guys once again for coming on the pod. Yes. yes. Yes, oh, always anytime. Always, oh, yeah. always. Oh, oh, you guys are gonna be coming back a lot. We're just gonna keep bring you back every couple oh, yeah. of weeks. It's just yeah. you're just too much fun. <laughs> too much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm also oh. gonna yell out my sister in laws once again for coming through and <laughs> making that bomb turkey empanadas. Mm. Uh, and mm. spending time, yeah, with my little one. That was great. Good little family thing there. It's good to see the sister in laws and my wife get to get to get together and be like, oh man, that's what you guys were like growing up. It was pretty cool. And uh, I'm also gonna yell out uh, a, a, a former stupid student of mine. Who turned 10 uh, last week. I call him Little Z. He's in the double digits, and I'm so proud of this kid. Aww. He's gonna do great things in this world. I just know it. Shout out to Little Z. <laughs> little Z, happy birthday once again, man. Happy no, 30 birthday. Days, happy, man. Birthday. All the happy birthday. All righty, guys. Who you got to yell out before you head out? All right. So everybody knows that I am a full time eBay reseller and got a flea market and stuff. So if you want to check out any of my cool pickups and purchase anything from me, you can go to ebay.com slash str slash gamer goodies and more. I recently just picked up some inbox uh, Game Boy Advance games. I got a Game Boy player disc. Like I got I got a bunch of cool stuff. So check that out. I post nice. stuff on Instagram at gamer goodies more and on Twitter at goodies underscore more. Okay. Wow. Nice. Nice. MC. MC. Yeah, yeah. If you don't mind me taking a chance to plug the show, uh, for those who are interested and want to hear more of us, um, we're on Facebook.com slash Player2 has entered the pod. We're on YouTube, Player2 has entered the podcast. Our main hub is on Anchor, anchor.fm slash Player2 has entered the pod. Come check us out. You know, uh, friends of the show, like, I'm glad to hear that we'll be back because I definitely love coming through. Uh, shout out to you two for hosting us once again. We always have a blast when we hang out. And, uh, <laughs> (laughs) And then you mentioned Resident (laughs) Evil 4 as one of your favorite PS2 games. I'm actually, coincidentally, Twitch streaming that right now on Friday nights. So I have a twitch.tv slash MC Paper Stacks. I have a schedule up, but on Friday nights I play horror games, and I literally just played the first episode of what I think is going to be a run-through of Resident Evil 4 this past Friday. So I'm going to continue that this next Friday. Sweet. All right. Thank you guys there. Thanks for those yell outs. And before we head out, here's the question that you've been waiting for for the giveaway for our comic that we're giving out through the Berserk comic. What was GP's experiment that never happened? Go back and try to find that out. And if you get it right, guess what? We'll get you those comics that we talked about earlier in the episode. Yep, yep. The first two. (laughs) The first two. Good luck. Good job in sticking around and hearing all of us talk. (laughs) You did it. So look out for that. We're going to post it up on the. uh, socials as well to get that question out there and get us back an answer. We'll send you that comic. Yep. There you go. So that was the those guys known as Player Two as into the con- mm-hmm. podcast. That's that guy over there known as GP. And that, that guy right there known as AD. And listen, folks, that's what the Driptastic Four do. And now it's oh, time yeah. for the What's Driptastic up? Four to pay some dues. We gotta get a guy in the Zord. We gotta go. <laughs> so we will catch you. Fantastic Four, assemble! Peace! Let's go! (laughs) See ya. Deuces! (laughs) Alright, bye.